<laughs> you, and, you and Jay were both pigging out that last time that you and him were both here eating fucking McDonald's. Chewing into the microphone. I don't think anybody gives a shit. Eat your dinner. Podcast number 12. Number 12. Who's number 12, Leonard? The GOAT. Yeah, very impressive athlete. Hats off to him. Great work ethic. I hate saying it because I hate the fucking Patriots, but he is fucking... Why do you hate the Patriots? I That's hope they annihilate the Eagles. Yeah, I kind of do too. The Eagles fans. It's their fans. <laughs> I don't want to see their fans see get the to celebrate. Yeah. It, they, it looked, it, the way they were behaving after the game looked like they lost the fucking game. Yeah. Burning shit. and it's yeah. Blacks, fuck. whites, Hispanics, all in the same yeah. group. Yeah, I, I think New England's going to win that game. No. It all comes down to a system. Players retire, players fatigue, players get injured. When you have a system in place, that's success. Same with every aspect but of play, life. But players have to perform, though. Right, but they don't perform, you get somebody else in there. That's right. Same with government, same with countries. You have a certain system. And has the communist system really worked all those years? I don't know, has it? Well, it works for them. Chinese, it, work, it wouldn't work Chinese here. is a modified system. Quick, quick point of business before we start the meat and potatoes of the podcast. Um, if anybody ordered a shirt or a hat over the last few weeks, they will all be going out. What's today? Monday night. They'll all be being shipped out. I'd say by Wednesday or Thursday. We apologize for the delay. Most of them will be going out tomorrow. Yeah. The internationals take a couple, take a little bit longer. So, so we had a lot of work to do with this batch of orders. So it took a little bit of extra time and. The name of the website, jasongenovaclothing.com. Bye-bye. Peace out, bye. That's it. <laughs> to Jason Genova. No more. We just got that changed. Com. We just had our guy change it. It is now Delray Misfits. Is there an S? Plural? Yeah. Delraymisfitsgear.com. Delraymisfitsgear.com. And that's that. Yeah. We'll still sell some of his shirts on there. You know, for the most part, we had to change it because we were getting so many messages of people saying we refuse to order shirts with that guy's name on the fucking Correct. website. And so. we listened to the maniacs. And I also like to thank the maniacs for whatever they had to do with getting me. I'll announce it right now. Next week, we're heading to. Oh, uh, yeah. Do you, want, do you want to do that? <laughs> ah, fuck it. Go ahead. Yeah. Cape Coral. Yeah. I'm going to be a special guest on Dave Palumbo's RX Muscle. Road trip. Palumboism meets the Yes, January 30th. <laughs> and I know it's because of the maniacs with their ability to use their computers and get attention and get things done. I like to eternally we should thank try, them. We should try to collab with uh, Boston Lloyd while we're over there. He Great idea. Yeah. So Maybe the maniacs will reach out to him for If us any maniacs <laughs> have any questions or they just feel free to let... Let us know tonight anything you want to ask. Big Dave, Jumbo Palumbo. Jumbo Palumbo. Yeah, he so he reached good. out to me in an email last week, and um, it escalated quickly. Within 20 minutes of emailing each other back and forth, we set it up January 30th. We'll be driving to the West Coast well, of Florida. Thank you as well, Andrew, for setting up that opportunity. Oh, no problem. About a two and a half hour drive. Like when we drove to meet uh, Mel Chance. It's just south of Who? Yeah. <laughs> Never heard of her. Never heard of her. It's, just, it, it's just south of Port Charlotte. <laughs> Maybe we can stop along the way and see your girl Natasha. Oh my God! Don't even say oh. that. Uh huh. Don't even say that. Or you can go. We can go <laughs> shave the rest of Mel's mohawk off. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the three of us will be driving to Cape Coral. Uh, Dave Palumbo wants to do a sit-down interview with Lenny, and we'll be making a trip a week from tomorrow. We're all looking forward to it. Should be a lot of fun. Should be very interesting, unlike any other interview done before. Have you ever even done an interview before? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right now. <laughs> well, this is a this podcast. Is, not you're a, used to all this. Jay was in med school, but I'm looking forward to the challenge. Yeah. He's an MD? He was in med school, yeah. Did he finish? Pre-med. Okay. I'm not sure. You have to ask him. Pre-med or med school, different things. And you'll have to ask him. Not really him. sure, but That's I guess it's about me and him being the shy guy. It could take forever, but you guys have some real key points you want to bring up. Let me know. I know I'll be asking him a few questions as well. I don't really know much about him except for that <clears throat> the channel that he has. I've seen a couple of videos from him. He, he seems like a knowledgeable guy. Yeah, like he very much shit. so, yeah. He's been around a while. He went in that. dry on Louis Marco a couple I weeks like that, ago. So I like him even more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what's going on in the Ment universe over the past week? Seems like there's been a lot happening. Yeah. There's been a whole bunch of shit going on. <laughs> Who should we start with? Well, if we could, I'm really interested and concerned on the condition of Dale Chance. 
Is there any way we could get a hold of him or something like maybe can he said call? he wanted to call in I messaged him I don't know what his state of mind is right now we'll see I told him what time we'll be up and doing this so Brad you've driven stick before I never have growing up in New York City I never That's how really... I learned how to drive stick okay shift. so Dale posted something kind of stating what happened with his accident apparently from what he said if I remember correctly he was in fifth gear and he accidentally downshifted to second gear. The engine over revved. Yeah, yeah, is, is that what happens? Oh yeah, that's you can. If you want to, I mean, you don't really go from fifth to second, but you, I mean, you can, and then you just fucking haul ass. I mean, it just because it shoots the RP. I don't know. It's you don't do that. No. Not to make this a light of the situation, but, but it was you should accident. have shifted from fifth to third. Well, yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> To third, get it? <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Yeah, now I get it. Hey, Lenny's sharp now. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I, I wish that never came out of my mouth right now, but... Yeah, but he uh, Dale's a good sport. He can take it. He he yeah. wouldn't he, he won't mind us ripping on him even though he's well, I want to know the extent of his incapacitated. Injuries. He's pretty much said what they are. He's uh, got he got fucked up. He got ejected from his car, which uh, means he obviously wasn't wearing a seatbelt, which No, is, he said he was. Get the fuck. Yeah, out. he he did a live feed. He said he was wearing a seatbelt. Wow. Um how the he, fuck did he get ejected? No. No, well, he, might have, he might have a nice. I think uh, the story has he changed. Might have a nice lawsuit against Ford. Now. Well, you figure that it mu much. muscle, you know, that force well. just ripped right that belt right open. Yeah, but that's bullshit. And that's fucking bullshit. Depend. And there's, you know, that's funny though because that's a Ford. A, a lady that I work with, her husband flipped in a Ford Explorer. This is years ago, and um, her son. Weren't those having issues with work, flipping? Yeah, the seatbelt didn't work right for the husband. He, they lived. I think the seatbelt came unhinged with him or, or with the kid, but the kid lost his foot. He's little too. He's only like two years old. Yeah. Jesus. They had a huge lawsuit. They got fucking paid. He's missing a foot, but he gets, I think he gets like four grand a month for the rest of his life. Would you rather have your foot <laughs> chopped off or your dick? What do you think, asshole? I'd rather have my dick chopped off. Oh. What are you going to piss out of? You can piss anywhere. I'd rather get my <laughs> foot chopped off. Are you kidding me? I'd rather have my dick you'd chopped rather, off. You'd rather piss out of your ass. It's too much trouble, you know what I mean? It's too much trouble? <laughs> it's too much trouble. Well, you're not using it, so it's <laughs> Right, just to piss anyway. <laughs> you would rather have your dick chopped off than your foot? Absolutely. Oh, my God. Explain. You get more things done instead of worrying about your dick all the time. Well, satisfying no i think i think you'd rather have your balls chopped off not your dick your balls are the one that makes the bad decisions the dick just excretes the piss in the semen right well I'm i think you, you mean you want your balls levels, my natural hormone levels that's what tess is for yeah your normal your normal hormone I levels are shot already to, lenny i'm just trying to process <laughs> this you i can't believe you just fucking said that i mean I, dicks are somewhat useless after you've had well, kids not to you that's what you prefer on a fucking woman is a dick well, well, that's well. just a certain type of strange <clears throat> thing that somehow keeps rearing its ugly head, although not recently, and I can attest to that, the low hormone levels. But, you know, you go back on. Like, I, it, by, by, by the way, I will, I'm clean as a whistle, and I will mention that to Dave. I'm you clean actually as a look whistle. You actually look healthier. No T yeah. no and you're, you're definitely smaller, but you look healthier. No, I look like like you're... Your eyes are less jaundiced. But even, I mean, even know. when you're smaller, you're still huge. That, that's, yeah, but I'm not a, from a cookie. You might have a complex <laughs> about. You might have a complex about being smaller, but you're still huge. Yeah, but there's too many guys walking around bigger than me on football fields. I don't like it. Oh, boy. You know? <laughs> there's always going to be somebody bigger and no, better than you, buddy. There wasn't. When I get in shape, nobody will be. <laughs> nobody. The face good. he just shot at Brad. Yeah, yeah. If, if you guys can just see it. That's all right. What else is going on in the the ment universe this past week? There's been a lot of shit. Cali Muscle's name has popped up once again. Uh, that ignorant fucking going on YouTube, threatening people, shit. making idle threats, blah blah. Yeah, yeah. What happened to the hollow points that were coming yeah. Lenny's way? So I want to <laughs> I, I, I want to play something for everyone. I'll, I don't know if this microphone will pick it up, but I'll play it in the phone. Let's see if I can find it. Who the f why? I don't understand why people even this, watch this moron shit. This, this is from a video Cali Muscle posted. It was last summer, I think, when he was threatening Lenny and threatening Jason. So here he was making fake idle threats back then. Let's listen to this. Yeah, with your fat ass, boy. 
real. We know you can't swing none, nigga, with those motherfucking hollow points start spitting that your ass for that racist watermelon talk, boy. Yeah. 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 yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. It's like a Al Sharpton. They don't on, like being called boy. It's fucking either. Al Sharpton on steroids. Yeah. Did you ever hear that? Did you ever hear the that little clip, Lenny? I've heard it. And then again, I've heard it from millions of other cookie cutters, not necessarily to me, but in their general way of life. And it just goes to prove the intelligence level. And well, just, he can't you know, even fucking speak properly. I mean, yeah, he's yeah, just how fucking old. Are you enough with the ebonics. You, you know how to speak. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. He's a fucking. And I imbecile. happen to he's think an imbecile. when you listen to that yeah. type of music, it, yeah. it lowers your IQ to a point where you can't study or learn. Your mind is is poisoned by that type of beat. <laughs> it almost in a way of hypnosis, but in a bad way, and it'll stop you dead in your tracks. That's if you let it, though. I don't. I don't I mean. But if you really listen to it and let it, if you really, you know, I just let it go by. But the rare times that I hear it, but it's definitely not something you want to listen to as minimal as possible. I can tell the maniacs that. Well, the reason why we the reason why I played that is because this bozo is back at it making idle threats, and I know that a lot of the people who listen to us can't stand Jason Blaha, but Jason Blaha once said something about Cali Muscle that is 100% true. If Cali Muscle goes around threatening people in videos, which he's done now, including you with hollow points, he's an idiot because number one, if something does happen to you or anyone he threatened, the finger is going to get pointed at who? Him. They're going to try to somehow trace it he's back to him. Himself. Right. And, 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 if, and, if, he, him and if nothing happens to you, then he looks like a clown ass because it w ended up just being an idle threat. Well, that's a Freudian slip as well, because why would you say hollow points? Seems to me any old 38 could do, right? What am I, the thing or the Incredible Hulk or no the ammunition? <laughs> but he must think so. So that's a Freudian slip on your part. Like swamp yeah. thing. Chuck Basher. <laughs> <laughs> He likes to bash, <laughs> bash buttholes, men's <laughs> asshole. He did. He did gay for pay, right? He certainly did. Was Presumably, he fucked, was he the one that fucked the grapefruit, or is no. that the other? That's a pro body. The other schmuck with the long shitlock hanging from his head. Yeah, yeah. I don't think anyone who, who fuck follows these fucking morons anyway. Anyone who's done gay for pay doesn't really have any business threatening anyone with hollow points. No. Nope. You know, that, once you do that, kind of lose your you credibility. Just, yeah, you, you keep your fucking mouth shut up. <laughs> yeah. in a way, he, else does he chooses to go back to prison because he likes that type of degenerate type sodomite sex that's known behind the yeah rape. So like to get walls. fucking raped. Yeah. I'm sure, Johnny Bravo is shaking in his boots. Yeah, he uses hollow point on him too. Johnny, bro, let me tell you, Johnny Bravo's no little guy. He's I'm six one. He and I see oh, eye to eye. He's a big dude. People don't realize that because in all of his videos, he's just sitting there. Right. So you don't know how tall he is. When I met Johnny over the summer last year, and he got out of the car, the very first thing I thought, was, holy shit, I didn't realize how tall this guy is, and he's yeah. built too. So yeah, it doesn't. But that doesn't mean no. But, but still, yeah, people who think he's a little guy are dead wrong. Right. Well, like, this guy apparently thinks we're made of armor. Then we need hollow points. Yeah. Cali muscle. Just hollow yeah. points. Stay over there in California with all the other fucking weirdos. You well, creep fuck. Where are all the Florida homies? Yeah. Come after you. For yeah. I've heard that term before, too. <laughs> Lenny will ride his bike straight through the ghetto and not give a fuck. <laughs> he doesn't care. <laughs> doesn't matter. Uh, uh, it's, actually, it's I'd like tough to. guy bullshit. This guy is a fucking, he, he's a fucking clown. And anybody that watches this shit is a fucking moron, too. No offense. But why... Why would you waste your time watching a video made by that mushmouth fucking moron? There's cook hey, there's I cookie cutters. What, what, what cookie cutters and droves out there? Like I said, what are you waiting to see? This fucking two kinds uh, of people on earth: cookie cutters and porn addicts, and those are the people watching it. Yeah. I mean, what what the fuck? Are, uh, whatever. He's a piece of shit. And there's lots of pieces of you know what in this world. Yeah, I know. But you know, everybody's got everybody's got an outlet now. You know, that's their problem. Yeah. If you don't like it, don't listen to it. That's it. I gotta start unfollowing. You know, if he wants to fight me, people. we'll set that up. He'll never and do he that. No. It's, tough, it's tough talk. No. It's tough guy. No, at least talk. I made the it's, offer. He's never gonna do shit. And if you guys want to fly cares. me out on the West Coast, I'll do it as well. <laughs> Any real thug, gangster, whatever you want to call it, 
would never in a million years go on social media or YouTube threatening anybody's life. Announce they, their business. They'd keep their mouth shut. Exactly. They'd move in silence. They'd handle their business and you wouldn't hear a word about it. So anyone who's going on YouTube or social media making videos threatening people with hollow points, you know those are the least gangster people imaginable. You just lose all your credibility. Yeah. Stop trying to play the role because... Real gangsters and thugs never in a million years would do something like that. Go back to doing fag porn, you fucking creep. And who's the other asshole? What was it? Pussy liner too, making threats? Or I don't think he was ever... Oh. He might be a loudmouth and a jerk, but he's not a, a low-grade moron. <laughs> he might be an, an overcompensating dwarf, but... <laughs> so when he gets out of the car, he's, I can't believe how small he is. That type. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, he's one of those guys that probably drives a fucking a big truck with, you know, Bigfoot wheels on the motherfucker, loud as can be, you know. He, just it's, he's overcompensating jerk offs. I like those guys in the trucks and the motorcycles because I'm out there pedaling in the heat on a high gear on that bike, wind coming at you with <laughs> sea, sea wind from the ocean. And believe me, I'll charge you. I'm going to plant you, first of all, and get on top of you and headbutt you and gouge your eyes up once I do that type of <laughs> spear attack on you with my leg dry from years of biking in the heat. Biking as fast as I can trying to be on time for work. <laughs> While you're sitting on your fat gluteus nice and relaxed in a fucking truck seat. <laughs> Get out of that truck if you bore some mistake of your life. And they those uh, rednecks know it. Their fat beer guzzling bellies in my neighborhood. They don't say shit. Believe me, when I drive down the yeah, street, your my bike's filled with fucking filled with cookie cutter white, cowards too. White trash. Yeah, yeah, whatever you want to call it. And feral cats. Yeah, who keep disappearing. By the way, I wonder what's going on. Maybe they're being eaten. Are they being taken keeps, somewhere by Chuck the Schmuck? Who keeps disappearing? <laughs> Chuck Basher. The Chuck other Chuck. Basher. Oh, the other Chuck. Oh, you're Chuck talking the about schmuck. cats. Yeah, they like to drop cats off and abandon them like that. Well, I'm going to drop you off somewhere, boy. <laughs> You're not going to like it. <laughs> Did you post a video? Are people Boy, asking questions? No, I'll put a video up yeah. now. Just so they can... We should do that. Literally drop him somewhere. Drop who? Chuck. The old like, like Have we Chuck. ever see the movie Surviving the Game with Ice-T? Where they, they send him into the woods and they give him a 10 minute head start? I saw the movie, but I never heard of it. fucking great movie. Never heard of it. Wait, who's it? Ice tea? It, yeah. <laughs> Ice tea, get it? It. I like I like iced tea. You do? Yeah, I think he's a fat it's delicious. He's a fat oh, insulin you're resistant. About, you're talking about the Puerto Rican rap? Dubs, whatever he is. Oh, no. Piece of garbage. Wait, insulin, what do you mean insulin resistant? No, no. I, he's a fat he's type two diabetes. How do you and all know that, that junk food he eats. He's a pretty good actor, though. He, he sucks. Like NYPD he no, sucks. Like, um, he comes across as a tough one guy. One of those cop shows. And, uh, he caught a lot of shit for playing a cop on that show, you know, being well, all street. Because he sang that song, Cop, cop Killer, killer with, yeah, among other songs. That, uh, he did, he had like I don't like the way he talks. I don't like the way he looks. Oh, he's okay, a fat, dope-smoking coward with gyno. <laughs> 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 he's not in a human being level as far as I'm concerned. I don't, I don't watch that. I don't. See, I don't he's, see that guy anywhere. I, I think he's a doesn't put any fear into anybody. He couldn't even scare a freaking salamander. <laughs> a salamander? <laughs> Where did you come up with these references? Well, Jay got a new job. That's good. He's driving a truck. Yeah, he started didn't today. take long. Yeah. In the Trump economy. <laughs> yeah. We're about to get our tax break real soon. That's right. right. More money in all of our pockets. Yeah, they're going to give it back. Right. The people that don't like him, why don't you send it to us? If you don't like it, if you don't like him. Send it this way. If you're going to chew, like, talk, when you, if you're going to chew, take the microphone away from your mouth. That's what the members do at my job. And then when you talk. I once got in trouble for that. A, a member called me up at my job. I'd hang right the And she up. was chewing right into the phone. <laughs> and I said, Mrs. So-and-so, why don't you give me a call back when you're done eating your meal? And she got all perturbed and hung up the phone. And our food and beverage director at the time told me, he's like, I hate to do this to you, but you need to call her up and apologize. She went to him crying. I've what? never been so offended. Because <laughs> <laughs> you, you're and being a rude. <laughs> I was like, Josh, don't make me do this, please. And he's like, you have to do it. And I, I did it. 
Oh, when does this fucking yeah. give them an apology? Because it's, it's a country club from format. day the one. Mem- the members, you're so, if you work there, you you're you, you're obligated to kiss correct. the members' ass. Right. Even yeah. so, even yeah. though those schoolyard fights job. I had in Catholic school, where you hit somebody, go and apologize and shake hands. You see this scenario so many times. This is not the most ridiculous. Why cookie apologize cut if you're not sorry? I hate that. Why People even? Say what is an apology just anyway? Just what does that do? What does that do? It doesn't change what happened. It does nothing. Especially when someone tells you to do it, go apologize. Right. If you don't do it on your own, it's not genuine anyway. Right. For calling it's somebody fat. Bullshit. Apologize. I apologize to Chuck Basher for calling him a porch monkey. <laughs> How's that, Chuck? You feel better? You probably do. I'm so sorry. You por- sorry, I called you a porch monkey. <laughs> Chuck, Chuck fucking Basher. You heard it right Kelly here. I'm sorry. Yourself. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Don't be sorry. I'll Fuck never him. do it again. Fuck him. Does he feel better? <laughs> Fuck him and fuck you. <laughs> and fuck anybody that watches his stupid shit. I'm sorry to offend you, Chuck. <laughs> any any questions or comments you can leave below. All right. That was If you were here I'd shake your hand, Should Chuck. You You're green, greasy, like sleazy. It, yeah, Instagram will flag. Fried chicken greased up hand. I'd shake it. <laughs> With the butt lube on one hand and fried chicken grease on the other. <laughs> We're talking about Chuck Basher, a.k.a. I'm sorry Cali again. Muscle. I apologize. Don't, don't say that word. Again. I apologize again. Because I'm going to put this video on Instagram. <laughs> you can't say. As soon as he turns the camera off, yeah. you can start saying it yeah, again. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we're doing a podcast 12. Me, Prince Leonard eating his Pollo Tropicali, skipping McDonald's tonight. My stomach thanks me for it, too. Yeah, That's good. Such bad news. And so will the fucking toilet bowl. <laughs> <laughs> All right, any questions? That's a nice clubhouse toilet over Down there. Below. Looking forward to it. I sold you on it last week, right? It smells nice. great. Clean as a whistle. <laughs> When's the last time you, you took a dump in a clean bathroom? Well, actually, last week. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> piss in the piss square. Leonard, you gotta fucking... Why is that? To save water? <laughs> uh, no, so... I don't have to piss on the floor. Well, if you chop your dick off like you want to, you'll never have to piss again. <laughs> it, it can still come out. I can't. I, I don't even want to talk about it. That was just some of the, that was the stupidest shit. You no, it's do. true. I'd rather have my foot so I can at least squat and leg press correctly. I'm fucking believable. <laughs> <laughs> fucking believable. And I can run. I can yeah. press. What, what, when I tackle what some cookie done, cutter. What good has it done, done those legs? Your legs look like shit. I mean, I'm not one to talk, but. Hey, my quads are phenomenal. Yeah, you, you got pretty decent quads. Huh? They're phenomenal. <laughs> phenomenal. Uh. Chuck fucking Basher. Do you need a spoon or you got one? Oh, I'm going to. What do you need, Lenny? I have I'm going to put the microphone down for a little minute. Whatever utensils you need, they're in the kitchen over there. I'm fine, thanks. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What so, any news from Blackstone Labs? Any response to J Masters? Of course not. No. Why, would they, why would PJ respond to that? They haven't posted anything now in a couple of weeks. He hasn't. They, they have. But, you know. Are they separate Instagram accounts, Blackstone yeah. and PJ? Uh-huh. Yeah. I follow both of them. Blackstone puts up shit. But they, they definitely delete comments about Jay because there's no fucking way that they're going to post something that half the comments aren't going to be about Jay Masters. But it's all right. You, you know, he stirred the shit up and then just disappeared. It's kind of, you know. I'm surprised they didn't post anything about Dale either. Isn't that, he's one of their sponsored athletes. Like you don't even mm-hmm. fucking, you know, maybe they contacted him privately but still for a p like you said from a you, pr standpoint you, you would certainly expect to see yeah, something well wishes posted to our ath- one of our athletes right. who was in a terrible get accident. well soon we have your right. back right and he set up his wife I, set up a gofundme they could have reposted that for him give him a look you know what i'm saying if right? i was dale i would want to see that what the fuck but you know that's just that is what it is Maybe the company's going downhill. Who the fuck knows? What is that, Lenny, in that first cup right there? Is that pudding? Mashed potatoes and gravy. That's mashed. It looks like custard. It looks like fucking applesauce. Yeah. 
I wish it were. I need a little more simple cars, but that'll do. I have a white dinner roll here. Got some pork. So it's pretty complete. Like I said, my some stomach. Some corn that's useless because your body doesn't even. Yeah, I'm not a fan of corn. I hear bad things about it. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> you shit, it looks the same coming out as it does going in. It obviously doesn't absorb into your body. What the fuck does it do? Although. You may as well just throw it in the toilet and eliminate the middleman. I like that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just get toilet, just drop it in. I don't think in. it really does anything for you. I like corn, but I don't know much. Yeah, I've actually I like grits a lot. That's from corn. Yeah, I like had them quite often. Yeah, but so what? What's your normal shit that you get there? That's pretty much the same thing. Yeah. I, I look on the internet there. Can't can't access any porn. Why not? Can't can't access porn where? Pull a trap call. Even on the Wi-Fi? Why? No. They have a block, which is good. Which is good. <laughs> all right, all you maniacs. I want you to go to Pollo Tropical's website, okay. click on contact us, and ask them to remove the block that disallows porn sites on their Wi-Fi. You know what to do. <laughs> I don't know. That's a good idea. Or do you not want that, Lenny? No, I like to be... If you have an addiction, it's better to remove the temptation. As it says right. in, in scripture, well, well, that's... if your eyeball causes you to sin, pluck it out. Oh, please. <laughs> If your dick causes you to sin, cut it off. I think it's it's your better to enter. Well, just like enter if you're, if you're with, an alcoholic, stay with out of one the eye than enter hell well, with two eyes. Y- your brain controls all these organs you're mentioning. Maybe you should just pluck your brain out. Or <laughs> <stick>. <laughs> your brain controls your eyes. Your brain controls your dick. Then I'd be just like Chuck Basher. <laughs> no brains. No fucking brain. That's for damn yeah, sure. I like to make a comment on the game. You know, as, which game? As you see, New England. Uh, they like smart. And tough players, code word white players, oh. Chuck. <laughs> That's what that means. When a coach wants smart and tough players, that means they don't want your kind, Chuck Basher. <laughs> <laughs> There's plenty of black guys on the Patriots. Yes. They don't last for long. They really don't. Hey, n- nobody lasts for Not long. Not at the skill positions. They interchange. Not at the skill positions. Belichick is good at getting the most out of every uh, out of each player. Smart, tough players. Yeah. But guys that go there know... Like Hogan. They know they got to behave and do that. Gronkowski, the, Edelman, Amendola. Gronk is Get a fucking... It? He's a, Gronk's is a little bit of a loose cannon, but he's pretty tame there. He's fast, too. He's a fucking... He's an animal. <laughs> Nobody can cover him. He's quick and The only fast. person that can cover Gronk is Gronk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're lucky. Yeah, and they knocked him out of the fucking game in the first half, and they still lost. So what does that tell you? Yeah, well, that's calmer for what he did in Buffalo. Yeah, Absolutely. that's true. Yeah. I'm sure if someone wanted to plant one right on his head, trust me. He did a comedy show. It's on Showtime. He had a bunch of stand-up comics. I watched it the other night. He was like the host of it, and he tried to do some comedy. He was was just bad. He was like making fun of himself, but it was... He was bad in WrestleMania, too. Yeah, he's he's just got to stick with football and party. And they're maniacs, as you know. Doing those grunt cruises. Yeah, I bet you They're ready to sign me to wrestle Triple H until they didn't like my politically incorrect... YouTube commentary, and that's, that's right. the reason. So you had to flood their offices and tell them, let them know what you think. I could have been doing WrestleMania this year against Triple H, and believe me, I would have got a good shot in. I think you know. I read that email on an earlier podcast. Remember that? Yeah. The, girl, the woman wrote the, woman. From the WWE wrote me. Yeah, but they'll take the Gronk disapproving of your content. and his boring ass. I dep- and his filthy cheap shots. <laughs> yeah, but he doesn't go around. But they want that me and Hulk Hogan, and monkey, and all that shit. They want that hey, me and man. Hulk Hogan on. This is a PC world we're living in now. You need to get tell them to get me and Hogan as a tag team and wrestle a couple of their, you know what's, <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll see. Bring back Trump as a special guest uh, manager, like he did in the po- before. That'd be great. That'd be the best WrestleMania ever. Speaking of pro wrestling, and we were talking about, we mentioned Johnny Bravo's name a little bit earlier, and. I'm in no way trying to diminish his investigative report that he did um, with Rich Rodriguez. I know that's being talked about a lot lately. I know he put a ton of time and effort and work into that. And kudos to him for, um, you know, that whole thing he did has now gone mainstream, TMZ. And I'm happy for him because I like the guy. I consider him a friend. All the shit that went down with that. All the shit that went down with the documentary. There were never any bad feelings between us. It was such petty shit. At the end of the day, you know. And it had nothing to do with Bravo, really. It was Correct. The fucking other guy. Captain Kickstarter, as we yeah, call him. Exactly. We won't get into that. Nah. Um, and it, one of the things that Rich Rodriguez. <laughs> Kickstarter. You like that? Yeah, yeah he's good. That's about, yeah, he's Captain Kickstarter. Assault, yeah. <laughs> Take the money and run. Fuck you. 
Need a vacation? Da, 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 da. Captain uh, Kickstarter. Yeah. For, for anybody out there that wants to get into um, into business with us or whatever, we can spot bullshit from a mile away. Correct. So don't we'll try to come in here and feed us a line of shit. Right. Which we did, but we kept it to ourselves until exactly. the right time. Exactly. We saw that writing on the wall from the so, beginning. Kimbo, he has so, something to but say. But Johnny, and down the line, Johnny might want to do it. You know, and if he does, he's more than welcome to. What, the Lenny he's piece? Say, yeah, yeah, whatever, the documentary, this shit. He can do it anytime he wants. He knows where to find us. Of course. We have no, we have no hard feelings for Bravo. As much as the maniacs don't like him, because some of his, sh his shit that he posts is cringy as fuck, and I agree, but he's, he's still a good dude. Yeah. He's not a bad guy. One of the guys, this Rich Rodriguez character, <clears throat> name dropped from prison, which I don't know why the fuck he's dropping dimes on people, but that's his business, um, was... What's his name? Roman. What's the name of that wrestler's name? Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns. Never heard of her. <laughs> and then <laughs> he also mentioned Mark Wahlberg's name. And Never heard of it. <laughs> what? <laughs> you going to the Patriots game this year? You going to the Super Bowl, Wahlberg? So you can leave at halftime and then say you're the biggest New England fan ever? <laughs> you better not show your ugly face, your pockmarked face at that Super Bowl. Some maniac, please. Pound him. I don't care where you're from. Sick of seeing him. Lenny and Sidney Leave violence. him at halftime. <laughs> Big fan, huh, Wahlberg? Yeah, one of those Philly fans will throw a beer at him. Don't worry. Please do. <laughs> so the question I was at pose is, is it really groundbreaking information? Mark Wahlberg is my age, and the guy is built like a brick shit house. Roman Reigns is a WWE wrestler. And the majority of those guys either are or have been jacked up on amphetamines or some form of a PED. Whoop the fucking do. Like, how is it any, how is that newsworthy that these guys may have used or bought steroids at some point? And why would it be Just a take surprise? a look at them. What? TMZ do the story on that. Well, they, they covered Johnny Bravo. Johnny Bravo did the story. And mainstream media outlets like TMZ actually picked up on it. Well, Harvey Levin, look at the size he was 10 years ago compared to now. And he's getting older. What know. are you shooting, Harvey? You watch that show? Occasionally. Yeah. I can't, I don't, I can't really tell. He's you obviously he's taking like, something, too. A little pe pencil. He's 60 years little old. pencil neck. He's <laughs> bigger now. Look at him 10 years. He's real pencil neck. You talking about him or Mark Lobliner? <laughs> Both. <in that laughs> they case. do look alike, come to think of it. <laughs> Pussy liner. <laughs> Fuck that. Panty liner. There you go. <laughs> Mark Panty Liner. You heard that, Maniacs? Brad, that well, was that's brilliant. a pussy liner, but same and thing. I, Panty kick, liner and Kickstarter. Cool. What'd you have for? Captain, Captain Kickstarter. Captain Kickstarter. Yeah. yeah. And, and uh, Panty Liner. Mark Panty Liner. <laughs> Double thumbs up. What do you think about that, Maniacs? <laughs> yeah, it should be no... So, like... And Wahlberg got huge when he did that movie with The Rock. Was it yes, Pain and Gain? Correct. That was like based on a true story down here. Was yeah. that... Did that have anything to do with um, Rich Rodriguez, that movie? I don't know. And all that shit? That, I didn't see the movie. I don't know. I well, when they're filming it, they're in close proximity, and they probably needed to train at a gym. Right. And maybe it, that was the time when he was doing it, because he was fucking yoked in that movie. Yoked. Yoked. What's, what's that mean, Brad? It means jacked. Yoked. Brendan <laughs> Fraser was jacked when he did Tarzan. You can you can watch so many yeah. different movies. Look at Hugh Jackman to get to, right. get to Wolverine. You know, Where to you Wolverine. see an actor who... He definitely took shit. He's like right. 50 years old. In the majority Fuck. of their roles their average size and then they land a movie role and all of a sudden they're either jacked or they're very muscular of course they did a fucking cycle for the role yeah I mean, mr t for rocky salon mr t for the a-team oh yeah one of my favorite shows as a youth yeah, yeah. i used to watch that i like knight rider i like the boy you're watching that at young Incre age. incredible hulk Brad, that's way before your time yeah. unless you're watching reruns Dukes of Hazard, because, you know, Brad. redneck in me. <laughs> you were watching reruns. No, I watched all that shit. You didn't watch that live. It was before you were born. It was in the 80s, Leonard. 70s. No. The were you reborn? The Hulk was the 70s. With Lou Ferrigno? In early no, it was 80s. the 80s. 70s dude. and early 80s. Well, they must, I don't know. I watched that a lot. Knight Rider. I like that. What, what were the other shows I watched? Kung Fu, David Carradine, phenomenal. That role should have gone to Bruce Lee. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't like. That's why he left America. He was so disenfranchised with the, with Hollywood, because he felt like that role should have been his. He said, "Fuck this." He went back to Hong Kong and made um, made Return of the Dragon, which was good, very good. No, they, actually, I'm sorry. His first movie in Hong Kong was Fist of Fury, not Return of the Dragon. And David Carradine 
dressed up like a tranny and had a hooker hang him. I what? thought he did it himself. He was jerking off, and it was no, auto yeah, asphyxiation. No, it was probably a girl. He, he had a girl doing him like that. Girl or a tranny? Who knows? <laughs> Where was he at? Or are, are they interchangeable? Thailand. He was yeah. in Thailand. Yeah, yeah. He... As was Gary Glitter, who went over to molest children. Who's Gary Glitter? You ever hear the song at the talkie games? Dun, 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 dun. Hey! Dun, 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 Every sporting event player. Hey! Not anymore. Dun, 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 dun. After it came into light, you don't hear that anymore. Really? Yeah. Look huh. up Gary no Glitter. Shit, I never do that. Hmm. Come to think of it, you're right. Big you don't time hear that. Sport no, you don't. Yeah. When did they find that I think out? It's locked up. That was a very About light, 10, 15, late 90s years song. Ago. No Little shit. boys, like eight, nine year olds. Wow. Hey, very talented too, right? Yeah, that's. Hey! <laughs> yeah, these people with messaging me, they like to hear you sing. They want us to go to a karaoke. Oh, night. that's right. Somebody messaged me on Facebook asking me to ask you to belt out a tune tonight. Oh, you just did? <laughs> well, <laughs> a very simple one. With, with lyrics. At the end. We'll let, yeah. uh, our, on our, when we're, when we're well, ready to wrap up, you can sing a song to Christina. How's that? How did you? So you have time to think about it. How did you, you know that, Brad? Just, I, I know you so well now. Call it a hunch. Yeah. yeah. I'm becoming as demented as you, apparently. How much protein can I get from eating ass? <laughs> That's a good <laughs> question. the shit is. <laughs> That's a good question. Yeah. It depends what you ingest. Right. <laughs> Has Lenny ever had a girlfriend without a swinging meat? <laughs> yes. <laughs> He was married to a, uh, a, a real female, a big fat black Haitian. No, very not fat. And fit, no, okay. nice, but very like a girl. What a girl should be. Very feminine. Okay. And she expected a lot out of me too. Has Lenny ever smoked weed? I can answer that. Yes. <laughs> not much. <laughs> the only thing I have against is because so many people like doing it, so it must be for cookie cutters. Yeah, of course, it's for cookie cutters. I mean, it's not really an essential nutrient like water, where I could say, "Well, I drink water. I'm a cookie cutter." Ah, but it's it's good. Might help you sleep. Some people like it. Some don't. I see those. We, we all smoked last week, and we're all like fucking well, all over the place. That's why I didn't say anything for the <laughs> first silent for, for the first hour of the <laughs> podcast. I was uh, yeah I can't, I can't on another get, dimension. Yeah. No more. Smoking for Andrew during the podcast. No. <laughs> Lenny got a contact high. Blab. Nate just looked more like a chink. <laughs> that <was bad>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got to stop that. Yeah, it's not conducive to being social and talkative. No. Well, at least for me, anyway. I just kept losing what everybody was saying. <laughs> Fuck, did you just say? Who is your favorite athlete of all time, Leonard? I would have to say James Harrison or Tony Mandarich. I like their approach. All right, here we go. Dale's calling in now. By Lyle Alzado. Yes. Chunky Cheese. We got. What's up, you mail prick? You're live on the podcast, buddy. About time, right? Yeah, well, too bad you're not here and you're laid up in a hospital. I know. Dale the Pale I'm Paraplegic. Like... What's yeah, going on? I'd rather be there hang with Dale. Yeah. Dale, are you in any pain right now? What's up, Dale? How you feeling? Dale, this is Big Lenny. Are you in any? Are you in any? Thank you. you gotta for, hold it. To, thank you for the video, and then uh, for the last podcast. I appreciate that, man. Oh no problem. I'm really concerned. Are you in any pain right now? Uh, yeah, I am in a little bit of pain. Um, my, uh, I have a. Well, I'll tell you everything that happened. I have uh, four fractured vertebrae. They took one out, and I have four, um, four um, spinal fusions. Then I have four broke ribs. Um, I had a collapsed lung and a cut in my spleen Ugh. and some severe concussion and a uh, tailbone fracture. Oh my God. So the thing that hurts me the worst right now is the tailbone fracture. And then um, the tailbone fracture hurts me the worst. And then the ribs are starting. Now they got me off of morphine. The ribs are starting to really, really hurt. Okay, I won't. I'm gonna make you laugh then or anything, that's for sure. The bad thing, Are you able the to funny s- thing is, uh-huh. the, the doctor come in and told me, he said, uh, he said, I'll be honest with you, he said, if you wasn't in a good condition, you are, he said, you'd been dead. Absolutely. He said, yeah, no question. He said, you'd have been dead, no doubt. He said, end over end like that. And the bad thing was, I, I would accept it if I was being stupid, drag racing, speeding, doing anything crazy, but I was on my way to the gym and I was driving car to pass in front of me pulled out and I pulled up behind him and about 500 yards from the river I turned on he uh, slammed on brakes and like he missed the turn and I went to go around him when I went around him I downshifted and I thought I was in fourth gear and I was actually in uh, I was actually in second gear so the car over ran and the transmission and everything tried to catch up because of the supercharger and uh, then all of a sudden it like it took the tires and turned me completely sideways. 
Jesus and Christ. Shot me down in that yard and I threw the uh, I threw the car and, and neutral and slammed the clutch in the brakes. And all I did was hydroplane. I had an oak tree or a boulder that I was going to hit. And I said, please don't let me hit the oak tree. I hit the boulder and it flipped me and it ran into the house. And you don't remember shit. I don't remember. I remember when I hit the boulder because I told myself, oh my God, this is going to hurt. And when I hit the boulder and I knew I was going up, I said, oh God, this hurts. And then I don't remember. I don't remember, like, I don't remember getting out of the car. I don't even remember getting to getting to the hospital. I, I didn't wake up, actually, honestly, until Wednesday night around 7 o'clock when I fully, come, when I fully woke up. How fast were you going? Um, well, the cops like, oh, he was doing 90. I was only doing 45. So what happened when I went into second gear, it, you know, you jump down from five to, to second. You're going to fly, yeah. The RPMs are just, I, I, I actually realized it. And uh, all of a sudden, everything tried to catch up. And, you know, I up the back end up and done that because the motor's clogged down. It's like talking to the right, shot me down in that yard. And it rained in a couple of days ago, so that whole yard was soaked. Oh man! Well, we know we know how you like to drive fast. Did you have, did you have your seatbelt on or what? Yeah, I have my seatbelt on. And, and how the fuck did, how the fuck did you get ejected with your seatbelt? You seat get a massive on? body ripped those cords. No, I, didn't get, I didn't get ejected from that car. I thought I read something. I thought I read, so I thought I read something. Someone posted something saying you you fell through the roof of a porch. Did you see that? Yeah, yeah, that was a car. If you look at my Instagram, uh -huh. you can see my my pictures on my Instagram, and uh, you can see where uh, where the the front of the car is laying through the front of the porch. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. I get it. Homeowners come and busted out the back window and actually took me out of the car. And uh, I don't remember none of that. Jesus Christ! You damn, you're fucking lucky to be alive. That's for sure, man. We are alive. You're alive for very important reasons. Thank you. Thank you. You've been very helpful. Okay. Thank you. And uh, yeah, so did she change your bed? Sure. No. Yeah, my, <laughs> the nurses are changing shit. Uh, are you able to eat? Is the food palatable? Well, they think I'm crazy because they ask me what I want for breakfast, and I tell them the same thing. And then that's what I want for lunch and dinner. And I tell them, I want grilled chicken and green beans. And they're like, what? I'm like, yes. Both meals, grilled chicken and green beans. It's all. What? And they're like, yeah, they're, they think I'm retarded. And oh, I'm you like, are a little retarded. Day, <laughs> when I first time I came to, I'm like, I don't want, I'm not drinking this. Or, I'm not drinking this Coke and I'm not eating this. And the doctor said, yes, you are. He said, your blood sugar is really low. He said, so you have to, you have to have this stuff. And I was like, man, this sucks. And he's like, it's gonna suck. He said, but till you get your blood sugar back, he's like, till you can go into a diabetic coma or something, because the really? blood sugar drop. Yeah, you're better off just doing what they tell you, man. Drink some you know, about yeah, all that bullshit. You'll get back into shit. Give him some applesauce or something, not something oh, like. It's, it's crazy. They're uh, across the hall. There's two cops. They're guarding a the guy. Yeah. Across the hall. Uh, the same day I got in my wreck, uh, there was four police officers shot. And I had them on the same floor, two rooms apart from me. Oh, wow. And now they got another guy there guarding the cops are. And so when I got up yesterday, they were like, hey, we're going to get you out walking and everything. So I come walking out, and the cops like, good Lord, look at, looking at my legs. Because I have shorts on and a tank top or a shirt. And uh, I come walking by, and he asked me, he said, hey, man, you work, you, you, you lift weights. So I was like, oh, yeah. He's like, yeah. And I was told him, I said, I said yeah, man. I said, have you ever heard of uh, the Delray Mississippi? He goes, yeah, he said, Dick Lenny and them? I said, yeah. He said, oh, yeah, man, I love them. I said, well, then you should know who I am. He goes, what? I said, my name is Dale Chan. He goes, the one lady's always talking about? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God, you can get him in a movie. And uh, he was, he's like all up to date on everything. He's like, holy crap, dude. He's like, I had no clue. He's like, dude, I'll be here at two. So I still haven't talked to him for an hour. Oh, that's great. He didn't even, he didn't uh, recognize he you, huh? He, he loved the message. Oh, good. I told him if he's up here tomorrow, I'll get a picture with him. I'll send it to you. So you're able to walk, Dale? Yeah. yeah what? That's, what? that's what the uh, the physical therapist people were so, and the doctors, they were so shocked. Yeah, I'm stunned myself hearing that. We're going to try and stand up, and then I stood up. 
<laughs> pressed one of them. Gorilla pressed one of them. <laughs> Put my brakes on and I started walking. They're like, uh, and I walked to the end of the door. And they're like, okay, I'm like, we can go further. I was like, I, I feel like I can walk everywhere. I think you're going to start adding weights to your walker, Dale. <laughs> Get some attachments. Well, that's great news. I'm glad to hear it. And it doesn't surprise me. You know, you're one of the toughest, toughest men I've ever met. And I think you're going to come through with it as best as you can and surprise a lot of people. Yeah, and that's one thing, you know, because they're, they're sending me home in the morning. And I'm like, what? Uh, I got outpatient therapy. And then the bad thing is, my, you know, I'm worried about my job and everything. And uh, my boss is here. And he said, you ain't got to worry about your job. That's not going nowhere. He said, this is just a little setback. You're, you're, you're not going nowhere. Great. Oh, that's good to hear. And, oh, yeah. Yeah, and you're up there walking. I didn't realize, you know, they were here, like, month, everybody's been here, like, last Sunday, all the way, all the way through, there's people who come and visit me that, that I had no clue they even remembered me, and I, I didn't even remember them coming because I couldn't. I was so, I had the massive concussion, and then I had two mini concussions after that. And then finally, Wednesday night, it was like 7 o'clock, I'm like, Yeah, no, no, no. She should, she should be touching your dick first. <laughs> Forget about your legs. You want to make sure your, you want to make sure your dick works. Well, we had a discussion earlier, and I, I think you're better off with your unless, legs. You, unless, unless you're, Le unless you're Leonard. Leonard, we just, we were talking about this earlier. He said he'd rather have his dick chopped off than his fucking foot. <laughs> It's ironic you said that, Dale, but everything happens for a reason. Yeah, no shit. And it doesn't surprise me, Dale, if you're squatting by the year's end. It wouldn't surprise me. Squatting? He's yeah. not... What do you think about that, maniacs? <laughs> you know, it's funny. It's funny, Lenny. A lot of people, like, they'll call me. They'll, they'll hear you rant and stuff on the podcast. And they'll be like, I don't know why you don't go down there and just beat the crap out of that guy. I'm like, look, guys, me and Lenny have a friend of me. Relationship. It's how you, it's that, but if people don't, if, if people don't know by now, it's how you guys motivate each other. And if you did, Dale, it would spur me on, it would spur on my workouts. So you may have to want to do it as a favor to me. You know, it would spur on my workouts. If y'all don't realize, if Lenny's not saying that about me, then I think something's wrong. You got that right. This is what me and him said. Look, you keep it going, I'm going to keep it going, and we're, we'll, we'll, we'll make it up. Trust me. And we'll, we'll, keep, we'll keep pushing forward. I don't get angry about it. A lot of people think I get mad. They don't realize when I was dieting for three shows back to back, that was the most, I've never dieted that hard in my life. So if you do that three shows back to back, people were saying stuff and I would get so irritated. What's that number three? That number that number three? Three <laughs> shows? <laughs> Yeah, and, sure. and you're dieting in the freaking hospital too. That's what really gets me. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna do four shows, and uh, and when they when we done that last one, and uh, I I told him, like, Courtney told me, he said, look, he said, you're done. I'm not letting you do that. I was sure. I actually started to cry because I was so happy because I didn't have to die at one more week for that show. My get, body was so my body was so strong. It's crazy because. I was 220 pounds when I went to weigh in. All for, all for a fucking, all for a plastic trophy and a fucking meaningless, oh, and, a mean, and a meaningless sponsorship. It's, have those asshole, have the, let me ask you a question. Have those guys reached yeah. out to you at all, at least privately, and wished you well, anybody no. from Blackstone? No. Are you no, fucking that's, kidding? That's Dale, what we were about. Dale, not even privately? No, I haven't heard that. I, haven't had, I got my phone yesterday. Wow. That's yesterday. fucked. I got my phone yesterday, and nobody has from Blackstone. And let me tell you this: you guys have said more about me, and even Dave Palumbo has no clue, or he knows who I am. I didn't know he knew who I was. But he everybody knows, knows who you are, Dale. Come on, everybody knows who you are. Everybody knows who you are. Well, he, Dave Palumbo put on Arts Muscle, wishing me to get well and everything. That's great. On their Instagram, and I'm like, I was, I was like, oh my god, I didn't even know what they. Told me about it. You know, and that, to me, that was like, wow. I couldn't even 
and, and what do you? That's great. Two good, what, two good guys. And what's your take on that? What's your take on not hearing a, a word? No, it's fucked up. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I don't, I don't want to like. I'm, Not, that's not something to pat yourself on the back for, making Leonard look Leonard or Jason look bad. But go ahead. No, I know, I know it's not, but he knows the rivalry between Lenny. So, yeah, yeah. You know, I told him, and, and Lenny, Lenny, let me tell you, I told you at yeah. the Ruby, I was so proud that you even got up and came and done that show. Yeah. Because for you to be in the hospital three weeks before, and you're still here, 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 and you're still more exciting than me going out there and posing because I got to see it live in person backstage yeah. and to hear that place erupt. I mean, Darren Charles is sitting right there and he's calling Darren Charles out to, to hear that place erupt like they did for Lenny, man. And he wanted no parts of me. You're right in my face. You're the only guy right in my face. All those people I called out, they want no parts yeah. except you. Yeah, I know, man. You know what? You know, whether, whether we I have no no doubt in my mind you're going to keep going, Dale. Dale, no Dale in my mind. Leonard will talk shit about you till he's dead. Just <laughs> don't worry. And, uh, the bad thing was that when, when Lenny, when you went in the hospital last time, I told my wife, I said, Sarah, I said, I don't tell you right now, you know what Lenny dies, I'm going to the funeral. Because that was the last time I was going to the funeral. She said, yes. She said, I already know, but she said, it's okay. She well, said, thanks. I, I appreciate that. Don't worry, he's going to live till he's 160. And I'm not going to get cremated. <laughs> well, he's, he's don't, we've already just... If you die before I do, I will be at your funeral. Likewise. I will help carry you, help carry you, and help you to your funeral. Yeah. Because I'm going to be there for you. You can just do the handoff from you to Christina Broccolini in, <laughs> in spirit. There you go. Well, that feels, that, you know, that would be a great <laughs> Yeah. Dale can give your eulogy. How's that? Yeah, you can give a eulogy as I would do yours, but don't worry. No doubt in my mind you'll be back on the weights. No doubt in my mind you're going to be on stage soon. And no doubt in my mind we'll be in paradise with Christine and hopefully the rest of us might maniacs too. I got to convert them a little bit. Uh. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me. Oh, uh, don't start, Dale. Now it he's wouldn't surprise fuck. me. Don't start that shit. Now Things he's happened gonna, for a reason. Uh, here he goes. You were told you would have been dead, Dale. You, t 
You hear that, maniacs? You were told if he was built like a rag doll, some druggie, he'd be ripped to shreds. Yeah, but he wasn't. Been, yeah, if you weren't in the he's shape. He's built like a right tank. Right. His yeah. bone structure's solid from all that heavy lifting. He, his body's able to take its time. The doctor that done the surgery, he's came in twice. And he's like, he's like, he tells me every time. He's like, dude, he's like. Oh, here we go. He's going to keep patting himself on uh -huh. the back. Well, you deserve it. No, I know, I know. I'm, I, I, go ahead. It's amazing to see you up and moving. He said, because we have guys that, that are in the same accident and everything that you are, and they're not even able to move for months. And they don't want to. They get all depressed. They get scared, and they don't want to. Yeah. You want to. That's the difference. Yeah, that's good. Well, I think a lot of it, too, goes to do with my day-to-day my day-to-day -day routine, what I do at home before all this happened, you know, getting up 3.30, going to work, working 10, 12 hours a day, then going to the gym, doing my whole gym, then doing my cardio, going home and watching kids, and then getting my sleep, and uh, and repeating it, you know, six, seven days, six, seven days a week, and, you know, I think that's a lot of it, too, yeah, that's, that's an, really helped me. That's an impressive schedule that most men in the history of the world could barely undertake. Not even 1% of the men could do that. Yeah, that's dedication. And lift that hard, burned, lift that heavy. Without getting burnt out. That's key, too. There's no such thing as burnt yeah. out. There's no such thing as burnout, Brad. No, you know, and, you know my off-season, my off-season, Cornelius knew what was going to happen with me with the rebound. And, you know, so he, he made it structure. You know, I had my little cheeks in here and there, and he'd come up to me. It's funny. He'd come up to me two weeks ago and said, I was in the gym, he's like, you ready to start? He said, if you're doing Team Universe, you got to start now. And I said, go ahead and send me the diet. And I said, I'll start in And I was on Saturday, so I sent it to me. And um, it was, it, it really looks like a lot of food, but it wasn't. And he's like, this is this is the program. He said, and now this is how serious he is. He's like, so that I know you're doing it correct. He said, send me a picture every meal. On a picture of you and every He's a he's a fucking he's a pushy little fuck, isn't he, huh? <laughs> Jesus well, he Christ. Wants to make sure, he, he knows what my desire is. He wants to make sure I'm doing right. Before, yeah, but you don't need to be treated like a fucking child. I think you're not Jason Genova. You can fucking Harper used to do that with you. Jason. Can actually. Uh, he just wants to make sure. He wanted to make sure that I was following the diet to the tits. So then that's to the tits. I, I don't mind doing that. Yeah. yeah, that's all right. That's that's a good. That's a that's a good coach. You know what the fuck? Yeah, when he done that, all of a sudden that switch. And lady, you know what I'm talking about. But that switch clicks. Yeah. It's time to go. So yeah. I switch clicks, and, and I was every every meal, every meal I was taking pictures doing it, and I was I was two hundred sixty five pounds, and that and it was January eighth. I was two hundred and sixty sixty five pounds, and that following Friday, um, yeah, because that's the that's the Friday before uh before I got that rep on Sunday. So that following Friday, I was all the way down to two hundred and fifty pounds. Wow, fifteen pounds, nice. So, so obviously, obviously that, obviously that concussion didn't do anything to your memory. That's good. No, and that's the thing. Well, there, there are some things like they were asking me about the accident, and I'm like, I can't tell you what happened after I hit the boulder. I can remember that. It's the first thing I thought of when I woke up. I can remember that, but I can't remember anything else. But getting to, I don't even know how I got to the hospital today. They told me they were looking on the computer and said you came in by helicopter. And I'm sure that was the first time you ever been on a helicopter, too, right? Yeah, I, yeah. I, don't, even, I don't even remember. No, I, I, they said I was awake and I was laughing and talking to them and telling them, man, I, I'll tell you what, man, that bus ain't going to be nice when I get fixed. And I'm like, I don't remember nothing. I don't remember none of that. And they said when they got me here, they got me in, and I was all like, I was all So what did they put? They put they put rods in your back. Yeah, so I got four four um, fusions. So I got steel rods in my back. So you, it'll probably be stronger than it was then, no? I don't, I don't know. See, and that's a, the best thing that I can say that, that's going to come from this this accident is Cornelius had the same type of accident, so he knows how to train me for this. That's huge. Which Did, is going to be incredible. You're going to be any? You're going to be you're going to be shorter since they had to take a vertebrae out. <laughs> Yeah, I'm probably in the five six class now. <laughs> that's what I was telling them. I was so proud of that five seven and a half. I just, I guess, I'm five 
<laughs> you're, you're a few car accidents away from being Mark Lobliner's height. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, no, it, it, it had a bunch of people. I mean, I've had so, even, even trolls that were like nonstop hounding me have been sending me, man, I hope you get well soon. And look, man, I, yeah, I just play when I talk crap. And like, like, man, it's all good. I understand. And we got a bunch of my balls. Right, that's what that's that's what we that's what we do is break balls. We it can help. We can take it. Yeah, it improves absolutely. other people. Right. Motivate you. It's good. That's why exactly. bullying helps. Thank God for the bullies. That's right. That's right. That's true. That's exactly right. I remember when I was younger, and my whole neighborhood used to bully me. And then you know, I no wonder. One day, that explains a lot. One day, I'm going to be bigger than y'all. And sure enough, they they took me down into a field where playing football or playing tag football. And they well, gang they banged you. Turn, and they they fucked your ass. And, me, and they just watched the crowd laugh at me and kicked me right off. So when I went to middle school, I was bigger than them. And uh, they come over to my house and say, hey, Rodney, we want to see if Dale wants to come play. And uh, my dad said, well, ask him to stand behind you. And they turned around and looked up at me. I said, yeah, I'll go play. So every one of them, I just freaking cracked back to every one of them. Uh. I let them <laughs> I said, remember I told you I was going to be bigger than you? I just try and bully me down. <laughs> and like, they, man, they were punks. I like that. Punks. I mean, I, I heard this for years. Man, you messed me, I'll just shoot you. I'll just shoot you. Typical like, cookie cutter coward response, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I'll shoot you, yeah. But that's yeah, what pussies do. Because they're admitting, yeah, no, they, they can't down. beat you. It's like, what's his face? Chuck Basher. I need to use hollow points. Chuck Basher. Because exactly. you know you're not going to do it, and you can't do it. Yeah, I see he's in it with Johnny Bravo right now. Yeah, we talked about that earlier. Yeah. Oh, did you? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I got friends with him. Who? Who? Joel No, no. Uh -uh. Never heard of her. He, he actually, he actually, <laughs> I met him from, from uh, the Misfits. He sent me a message one day, and uh, he came up and trained with me the Friday before uh, before I uh, that Sunday I got in a wreck. So he came up and trained with me. He came up from Georgia, and we're, we we had a great training session talking. And for every, everybody that meets me, all the fans, they always ask me, so how in the world did this lady stuff start? And so I have to tell them the whole thing, and they're like, wow, that's just incredible. It's like, all you got to say is, like, all you got to say is Delray Misfits episode 103. 103. 103, that's where it all started. Is that one, that, that's the one? Yeah. yeah. What's so funny is that cops, and then that's his favorite episode, I watch that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> that's like world renowned. That's that's good. That's good. That's good to know that the cops like us up there. So when we come visit you, we can act like assholes. <laughs> Get caught with a pound of weed in the car. We'll be all right. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, we need a police. We need a police escort all the way up there. How's that? <laughs> Yeah. Man, I'll, I'll be lucky if I can do anything in a month or two. People don't realize that Dale had been in touch with us about coming down here within the next few weeks, and then boom, the car accident happened, and that obviously got derailed. But Dale, you'll yeah. be you'll be back here before you know it. We have no doubt. Oh yeah, no doubt in my mind. Like I told y'all before, I told y'all the Ruby Yard thing, but yeah, man. Of course, you. What people say, yes, I'm a misfit. Hundred percent. The North Carolina branch, me and uh, Mike. The olive branch. You certainly are, Bill. It's the best you know, episodes I mean, ever made. It, you're it, right. man, it's, you know, all these, all these, all the followers that y'all have. I mean, a lot of, a lot of them are just like super outstanding people. And then you get the young, younger, you know, millennial kids that, that just come into this, and they're like, they're trying to put their five cents in, like they know everything that's been going on. I'm like, y'all are crazy, man. <laughs> It it blows my mind just how emotionally I don't know if that's the right way to put it, but just how emotionally invested some people are in what we do and the men's and everything that goes on with us and Jason and Lenny and you. Some of the, some of these people, man, like they need to kind of chill out with it. I'm serious. Some of the messages that I get, it's like this is just fun. I mean, yeah, 
I don't know. They like, take they take shit a little bit too seriously. Right. You know? We like, fuck around. We are who we are. But you know, we're we're, 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 not, we're not we're not rocket scientists. Either. Yeah. <laughs> L- listening to everything we fucking say, and an- analyzing every little thing. I don't know. That's we, one thing that I can say about what we do down here, we have a very intense following. I, I don't know of any other like YouTubers or channels that have quite the intense, rabid, small but intense following that we have. I mean, no. Oh, I'm, I'm telling you, I told y'all this before, and I'll tell you, I'll tell, the, I'll tell all the maniacs, y'all are going to blow up big time. I mean, just yeah. y'all, 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 how y'all are, how y'all are, y'all don't hide anything, but, y'all don't bl- blowing up, anything. Blowing up big time would mean going mainstream, and that's not what we're about. Like, I mean, that's not what you're about. Or, or, or being see, scripted bullshit. I, I see, think I think the cartoon idea is pretty that, good, that, though. You gotta send Dale that cartoon <laughs> picture. Like, <laughs> see, like that's one of the that's one of the realizations we came to when Johnny and Captain Kickstarter were down here <laughs> back last summer. We we kind of came to the realization our home is YouTube. That's our home. That's where we were meant to be, yeah. and we're not gonna do anything that's scripted or water down our content or filter ourselves to fit anybody's agenda. We're not going to do it. And um, if we don't quote unquote blow up, hey, that's fine with us. We're all very much enjoying what we do. You're perfectly content with what you're doing now. What's great is, you know, now you got the podcast. This is a whole, a whole different step from what you know, we're doing the first time. You know, just shooting videos. I mean, cause a lot of people don't know whenever, uh, Whenever I, me and Lenny first started, you know, with Coach Andrew and all that, it was, Brad didn't even really care to be in the videos. It was crazy. Now Brad's in it's like he loves it. Well, but it's, well, you know, well, that's because I was in a, I was in a different uh, relationship then. <laughs> it's so funny that you say that, I, I Dale. Was, I was being uh, micro, micro, I don't want to say micromanaged, I, guess, I don't know. It, it was, you know, I got, I got shit at, on the home front for it, so I kind of... Yeah. Kept my nose out of it for the most part. But what, off camera what, anyway. What, what Dale said is true. I remember, you know, going back to the older Misfit episodes. Brad was just kind of like a complimentary character that would come in and break Jason's balls for three minutes of video, and that was really it. And then I think Brad started to really kind of enjoy it more and more, and you know, just whatever happened on camera happened on camera. Like our our bread and butter will always be the gym videos. And the old world, the old world gym. It was our home. It was our sanctuary. And it's a shame you never got to come and visit it, because that place was as that place was as much fun to be at as it was on camera. We ran that fucking gym. We owned it. No one said shit to us. We did whatever the fuck we wanted. It was like half gym, half TV studio. And yeah, better, better shit. Better shit actually happened off camera. Than oh off. yeah, <laughs> which it was and, great. Oh, no, just- just by the just by the time that I've been down there and, and the stuff we didn't film and just us hanging out oh, yeah. and just hanging out, I mean it, it it was incredible. You can't, I mean you can't, you know. I, 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 and like, script what, what happened. And it's like we There's know no we know that people still want us to do the old style gym videos, but those days are just over. We can never replicate that no matter how hard we try. We have to censor ourselves so like you, much in LA Fitness. Like we gotta watch you, everything we fucking say for the most part. You can't, we hold back so much. At the, and like w- when I film, you don't see it because I'm the one filming or Brad's the one filming. But when we used to film at the old world gym, I used to hold the camera out, put it in everyone's face. It was great. But when, we, when I film gym videos now at LA Fitness, I kind of hold the camera right up against my chin so it doesn't look like I'm obviously holding a camera because people will shoot you looks and it's just we have to oh, yeah. we have to approach the gym videos very differently than we used to be able to and yeah, I remember yeah. when I, the first time I come down you were telling me you're like hey man it, it's going to be a lot different it's nothing like where was him when we filmed right. um, me and Jason in there Brad in there when I first met y'all and uh, that man it was, it was different and then the last shot when we come down it was different we could probably we could do videos like that at Busybody, but it's just too far for any of us to go there. It's you know. Yeah, it, it's. Yeah, Busybody was. I remember when we went. That was fun. At the old at, at the old world gym, we were always all there at the same time every single morning. Richard, Jason, myself, Brad, Lenny, J Masters, Saul, Will, all of us. It was our congregating spot. But now, in order to get a video where there are at least four or five of us in the gym, it becomes a whole effort. We, we have, have to, to organize. We everything. have to coordinate it, organize it. Then someone flakes. Lenny, Jay. Yeah. 
Like yeah, not, not everybody is 100% dependable with <laughs> yeah. this shit. That's the thing. So it's, it's not it's as easy. As we, do what we, we do what we can. Yeah. And in the meantime, the old, the old world gym just still sits there empty all this time. Still fucking empty. If y'all could get together and come up, well, let's, let's one of y'all. Uh, uh, or, no, uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, that'd be fun. Nah. Whatever come up to Charlotte, we no. would definitely go to Elite. And you would find out Elite is like your old world gym. Well, then we'll have them have them uh, have them open elite in our old world gym yeah, spot. No shit. How's that? We're trying to we're trying to figure that out. We're talking about that. We could get we could, pro- we, could pro- we could probably we could probably start a Kickstarter and, and get some money to start it. But you know, you got to sustain that shit too. It's we hate to we we don't even want to entertain like the, the thought fitness, of sticking our hand out for fitness. money, man. Yeah, just, it's it's that's not us. That's not what we. That's just not. I don't know. I'll tell you what would be awesome if y'all done that uh, that misfit retreat. Like uh, Jay was talking about, we would, would we be, would do that. Yeah, a we lot could. Of people have been talking about doing that. Oh really? I haven't seen shit. Yeah, we could do it. That, oh yeah, that, we can well, do that. Like Joel was telling me, he's like, dude, I would drive all the way from Augusta, Georgia, to go hang out with them that weekend if they're all gonna go. Augusta's not that far. It's an eight-hour drive, maybe less. Yeah, yeah. It's an eight I, hour I would do it. Work, you know, I would totally yeah. do it. Ten hours for me, but that's why. We'd have I to set it up. <laughs> and we'll wait till you're better then before we plan yeah. anything like that. What's your what is what is your estimated recovery time? Did they tell you? <laughs> it's funny because they told me the other the other night. Oh, well, we, I know. I'm gonna hear that you're super Dale. But the, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> no, they told me that. Uh, I'm gonna make a shirt with the with the. Yeah. I'm gonna make a shirt with the Superman logo, and it's gonna have a D in it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Um, Since you like to fly in cars. For three to four weeks, and now they're sending me home after a week. So. Before you can day. before you can touch a weight or just Oh no 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 that's before everything's completely healed. Okay. And and um I'm back to doing everything. Dale, how how is this from a physical standpoint, looking at your physique, is this I don't know how to ask is it depressing looking at yourself, not being able to work out, are you getting kind of antsy or are you just kind of comfortably just kind of taking a deep breath and dealing with it? Something that'll go away. Who the fuck knows? Uh, well, can't can't they just do an MRI of it or something to see what's going on? Yeah, they did. They said uh, there, was, there was nothing there. They said it really felt like fluid to them, and maybe it's just fluid that's going through the drain from the IV that was there. Because they had a pick line in there, and I'm like, uh, and I, I had a pick line. I felt like a heroin went in. So like, we're going to give you more pain. I'm like, okay. And just keep like, hitting that fucking button. <laughs> Okay, I'm like, no, it's not. I mean, it burns. It, it felt like putting acid in my muscles. 
junkie dad. I hated it. Yeah, I know. And then the bad thing is, you know, uh, yesterday it took me off of it completely. Dale's going to end up in Del Rey as a rehabber. I, I really yeah. don't care. I don't care for the pain medicine, but, you know, I know I have to have, I have to have it to survive right now. But the morphine and all that, I could care less about all that. That didn't bother me not having that. Well, good, man. At least, hey, you sound great, even though you may not look great. Who gives a fuck? You take this time and spend with your wife and kids, since you've been neglecting them yeah. for the last couple of years of training anyway. <laughs> I haven't been neglecting, but you said you... No, no, I'm breaking your balls. Relax. But, you know, you just look at it like that, man. You take a fucking month she, off. She really, uh, she really did. She really did like your other, your significant other stuff. So. Yeah, for sure, man. You know you guys are always welcome. Oh yeah. Just that, don't bring them. Just don't bring them snot nosed kids. Bring some more uh, venison. <laughs> I'm, ki I'm kidding. Yeah, more venison would be good. Oh yeah, I got more. I'll bring it. Yeah, yeah. I was going. I was going to give Jay some when he was coming up here for me and him to work out. But he's a fucking. He's a flake, like Andrew said. There's always somebody that flakes out. Jay's one. That's fucking J for you. Typical. Yeah. Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> All right, Bill. Well, because uh, when he come up, I'm going to have to put the videos up uh, that I filmed. When he come up, they, every, every one of them thought he was, like, going to die. Dale, why don't Dale, why don't you do some videos kind of... Um, uh, uh, do a storyline of your rehab and all your in the whole process in the hospital. Yeah, get from getting out of the hospital yeah. to getting back in shape. You do know. like a chronological yeah. set of videos of your of your rehab and building yourself back up. Yeah, just and then put it all together in a few right. months. Give me the footage. I'll edit yeah. it all together for you if you want. Give you a big video. Okay, yeah, definitely. I'll do that, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, that's that's what we're we're, we're going to call it the comeback. The comeback. <laughs> the comeback. The comeback to fucking third place. <laughs> Get out of here with that shit. <laughs> All right. Man. Maybe no, this will get you a fucking. No. You'll maybe, get those, maybe you'll get a fucking yeah. sympathy first place trophy next. <laughs> <laughs> they're, like, they're like, yeah, everybody talks about Dale in third place. They forget kidding won a show. I'm like, it doesn't matter, man. I'm never going to leave town. The, uh, no, that's third it. Place. Your number, your number is three. Your number three. Right. Three is the magic right. number. <laughs> I'm going to start playing that number. Isn't that the old De La Soul song? Three, three is the magic three. number? Never heard of her. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dale. I'm glad to hear it. And I'm looking forward to yeah. seeing you soon. And I'll be hitting it hard, too, once I get off this crappy medication. And I'm going to get over yeah, 300. Yeah, Lenny fucking, Lenny fucking cold turkey for how long have you cold turkey? Two and a half months. Two and a half Jesus, months. He hasn't already? had shit. Not even oh, tests. Shit. He, is, wow. he is all natty right now. And That's I'm, good, though, man. You know, you'll be surprised how, how much better uh, and how much fuller and bigger you'll come out. Yeah. Because of uh, when you get back on because you let your body rest and all your receptors get back. Sure will. Hey, anything you want me to tell? You'll come back even better. Anything you want me to relate to Dave Palumbo next Tuesday? Um, tell him I said thank you very much for for uh, his kind kindness and sympathy and putting me on uh, putting me on RX Muscle when uh, my own sponsors wouldn't even. I'll say anything. exactly that. I'll say exactly That's that. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, PJ's been in hiding for a few weeks since Jay accepted the challenge, but he must have other yeah, shit. Go he must have other shit going on. Yeah, he called me about about the uh, about the being private, and I told him, I said, "Look, man, I said the only reason I went private is because these people messaged my my employer, and he was showing me the messages." It's hey, messaged Dale. It's your fucking Instagram account. Do with it whatever you want. You're not a ten years old. Yeah, you know yeah, you should. Was, what, what do you have to answer to anybody for? It's your own fucking he Instagram said, he account. Said, he said he gave you permission. Like you're his fucking child. <laughs> yeah. Are you serious? Come on now. Yeah, that, that's, yeah that's about that's, it. That's about it for that shit. Yeah, it's, that's sad. I'm really sick of that. Yeah, that, that's some bullshit, man. Oh, what yeah, the fuck I, you gonna do? You know, that's I it. Deal with anything, but them doing that, them doing that to to um, to me, and then sending that to my boss is what really just drove me drove me crazy. Because I mean, you don't mess with a guy, even though you know they're diehard maniacs. Even though you know they don't like me or whatever, you don't mess with a guy's family. 
Yeah. Livelihood. You don't fuck with. You don't fuck with somebody's. You don't fuck with somebody's livelihood. Well, th- that, or listen, family. that goes back to what I was saying about how our following is so intense, and how some of these people are so emotionally invested in what we do. And some of yeah. us, it's like take a step back and relax, and yeah. and know know where to draw the line and know what the boundary is. I mean, you don't mess yeah. with a, you don't mess with a man's ability to put food on his table or his family's table. You just don't do it. Yeah, that's that's a line that's got to be drawn. You, you, you can attack if we put ourselves out there or put our wives out there, or whatever. Then it, we're up for criticism, but if we don't, you know, you try to. Keep well, that that's what Mark Loebliner does. He put he 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 probably puts a gun to his wife and kid's head. Okay, you got to be in this video because I need to look like a good family man. And then he complains because people are people traction. Tra- Mark Panty Liner. Mark Panty Liner. Yeah, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's a good one. But you don't put your you don't yeah you don't put your wife out exactly there. right you're not your parading kids yeah. are not out you're not there. parading anyone in front of the camera right. like others do and then they complain when their families get you know commented on it, if you do that then you're one fair, could argue that they're game. fair yeah, game yeah, you're fair game if you put you but put, don't complain yeah. about it but yeah your employee I I totally agree with that that's going way too yeah, fucking far you said that in the last podcast and I mean and you and I have actually talked about it. I mean you know it's just they they just take it too far sometimes and that's Okay, it's fine. Say what you want about me. I'm a grown man. I can take it. But don't, when they said that to him, and, and he asked me about it, I told him the truth. That what, did they, so what, did they se- what did they send to, to him? Oh, they sent to him about that I was saying they took Lenny Stack that he said he done and told them that that's what I was telling them the message. And they made fake, fake uh, text messages. I'm like, Russell, I don't even have Verizon. I'm like, I have, I have a uh, friend. Oh, that fucking uh, so that guy Russell, the one that started, because on your GoFundMe, I looked at it and I'm, I had to call. Uh, I had to call Andrew and see if that was legit. I'm like, what the fuck? Well, who's you know Russell? Oh, that's your boss. All right. Yeah, okay. That's my boss. So that's a and okay. That's, that's who. Uh, yeah, and I, I didn't even know. I told him I was like, look, man, I, you know, I didn't even know he started that. I told him I appreciate it. I was like, he's like, no, he said it's the least I can do. He's like, because. Dale, you gotta realize. Yeah, because he's not he's not gonna fucking pay you for being off. He's gonna get yeah. some money for you. Dale, Dale, what what you what, Dale, what you have to understand is that in this Genova verse, if there are people who don't like you for whatever reason, they're always no matter what you say, no matter what you do, they're always gonna find a way to say something negative about it. And and there's nothing you can do about it. Like your wife or whoever started a GoFundMe and people will talk shit saying you're Sticking your hand out for money, you can't can't worry about what every single person says about you. It's just but that's great. That's great. That's that's nice of your employer to do that. Absolutely, you know, to start that. Oh yeah. Too bad your other employer oh, didn't do like shit. Great. <laughs> isn't an, isn't an employer supposed to actually give you something yeah, for what exactly, you do? Yeah. I don't know if you can call them. I an wouldn't employer. say you're an employee, yeah. but you're. A <laughs> yeah, no. no I agree. <laughs> employer implies you're yeah. getting something out of it. Yeah. Or, or something, something, yet, something you, something, something you always thought you wanted. It, it's, it's, just, it's the ti- it's the title that you wanted. But now that you're realizing what comes with it, or more importantly, what, what doesn't, doesn't come with it, yeah. you know, yeah, being called a sponsored athlete is really nothing more than a moniker. That's it. Yeah. yeah what, what did, what did they say that that you know, that twat Diana Maybrook? They said I think she made the total time that she was at Blackstone made like two hundred fucking dollars. Yeah. Allegedly, from what we heard. <laughs> yeah, I heard the same thing from the I same mean, person. I mean, fuck, what, what is that? What is $200 going to get you? You could go stand on the corner and, and make $200 in a day begging for fucking change. Like the rest yeah, of these little drug addict millennial money. faggots do on the corner. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. Dude, up here in Charlotte, they done, a, they done a toll with one guy, and he made $35,000 a year, tax-free money. Panhandling. Begging. Yeah. Panhandling. Yeah. He got called. They called him. He got got his money. Went over when it, the weather got bad. Walked over to the Walmart. Got in a Cadillac CTS and drove up to the to the uh, neighborhood right up the road, which is Rain Tree, which is where all the the Charlotte Hornets and all the basketball players live. And went and got went to his house. Wow. 
You hear that, hookers? Yeah. <laughs> you hear all that, hookers? That's where all the basketball money is. <laughs> Go get knocked up by one Go of them. Go get knocked up. Yeah. Tray. I, I believe that shit, man. That, it, that's, I don't give them motherfuckers any money. Fuck them. When that guy got in that Cadillac CGS and he's out there begging for money, and saying he, what really pissed me off, he's saying he was a wounded, wounded veteran. Oh, Never perfect. In the army or nothing. We'll see Jason doing that one day, especially when he hears this, <laughs> that he can make 35 grand in a year. <laughs> Tax free. He'll be out on the. He'll be out on the fucking corner. Soon. Sitting in a wheelchair with his legs tucked underneath. YouTube, <laughs> YouTube celery. Former YouTube celery needs donations. <laughs> I wonder. Uh, I wonder though how that drone. I saw that video or that picture or whatever Instagram of him and that DTI drone. I don't know what that uh, drone is going to do for him anyway. What the fuck I, is that? I, I thought the drone we got from from Japan was a totally different brand. He didn't get one from Japan. He said he ordered it. It, you know, it, took, it was going to take two months to ship it, so he said well, he canceled it. All, I ever, it all I ever heard from Jason forever was that Nate is a cookie cutter with a drone, <laughs> and now he has a well, drone. He sees how good Nate, I don't, Nate's channel has done. That's why he's just... he's Right now, Jason's grasping at straws for anything to give no, his channel no, a fucking you know. boost. Nate, Nate's, yeah, cha that, Nate's channel... Even, unsubscribe 2018? <laughs> yes. The thing, the thing about... <laughs> Too. It's crazy. Nate's channel evolved over time. As a YouTuber, you have to find ways to evolve your channel and grow yeah. it and appeal to your audience and do different things. You can't keep telling your audience you're going to get shredded for a show and then go on stage looking like a fat slob. Eventually, <laughs> you know, you, you can't keep doing that and expect to gain a, a big following. It's just not. <laughs> fucking, it's not going to be fruitful for you. <laughs> that guy did. What Jason did, he said, uh, expectations in the bodybuilding, or one box in the bodybuilding, expectations that picture of me, and it said reality, had the picture of Jason. Yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> it's fucking perfect. It was the best picture in the world. I mean, it was, that was so funny. I was like, Jason, and it, and it blew everybody's mind. Like Cornelius, young, young back Cornelius, and y'all know how he was. And Jason kept annoying him, annoying him, we had to find out Jason leave him alone. But what blew his mind is, when Darren Charles come walking out and people said, excuse me, sir, and walk past him and ask Jane for her autograph, he was like, what the heck? This is Darren Charles, a bodybuilder for decades, one of the tops, and then <laughs> here he was asking for Jason's mom's autograph. That is great. <laughs> Did he really? That, that is like, fucking I great. Know. I didn't know that. I didn't hear that. So that's he great. Got, uh, Congratulations. Oh, he, got, he, he got an autograph from a Steam fucking Steamroll and Darren Charles to get Jane Franson's autograph. I love it. <laughs> what do you think about that, Durham? <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Classic Physique <laughs> from Trinidad. Is that where he's from? Yeah. He was like, dude, that was, I was, I was like, I was so, because I knew that's he was, he was great. a little bit. Different than how we are, you know, and, and I didn't know how he would really react. What do you mean by that, Dale? <laughs> He's different than us. <laughs> and then for him to then to start talking about all that and everything, man, it was it was priceless. He's actually he's actually become one of my best friends, really. Cornelius, he's been really great. Really Cornelius really is good a good guy. guy. He's a good guy. He's a, he's a big fuck he's now guy. too. He's gotten into great shape. He's a good guy's wife, very nice lady. <laughs> <laughs> I, I tell them this all the time. I say, every time we start talking about that, I'm like, I tell you what, I've never seen Lenny ever, ever that excited over a female ever since I've known him, ever since I've been around him. <laughs> that blew my mind. Well, that's because he was dream he was dreaming that she had a ten inch cock in between her legs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they thought that was She'd make it, she'd make a good tranny, he said to her. <laughs> well, fucking Dale, you've never seen Lenny in the gym on GHB, apparently. <laughs> All right. All right, Dale, Dale, we're gonna go now, man. My phone's dying over here, buddy. Yeah, Dale. Okay. Thanks for thanks for calling in, man. I'm very reassured to hear that and look for I look forward Anytime. to doing a show with you sometime in the future. Time flies, so you'll be right back into well, it. Yeah. You stay healthy, I'll stay healthy, and I guarantee you we'll do a show together. Go the speed limit, Great. Dale, Fantastic. please. Yeah, stop stop driving like an asshole. And that's that you get don't I'll don't get, get a, yeah, don't get no nah, don't get a fucking motorcycle. No, don't. come on. You gotta No, Dale, no, no motorcycle. Yeah, I'm man. Seriously, it's a good, get get good a wake up call. Get man. a minivan. You know something. 
a little sporty minivan. <laughs> there you, go. you can drive. You can drive t- ten miles under the speed limit like Jason does. Drive your drive a tractor around like the rest of the right. rednecks do over there. <laughs> That's right. There you go. Get better, exactly. man. All right, Dale. Best of luck, Dale. Man. Talk to Get you better. soon. Take care. All right, man. Be good. Call in any time, man. Yeah, any Monday night, call us up. Uh, All right, Dale. Thanks for all your support, man. Always, always, man. Thank the maniacs. Uh, Yeah, thanks, maniacs. I appreciate it. There you go. All right, Chuck E. Cheese. Last words. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Last words. What do you think about that, Dale? What do you think about that, Delaney? You got me. All right, y'all have a good one. You too, man. All right. All right. All right. That was good. That came up. I thought... We'll, we'll see how the sound came. It sounded out. good in the headphones. He I could hear us all, right. so that was good. Very interesting, maniacs. Very good life story. Very motivational and educational. He wasn't going to a forty-five fucking miles oh, an hour. No. Are you kidding you me? Don't come flip on, Dale. Come, come on. on. No, but he said he was going forty-five. Then he kicked when it he into said, lower gear and he and he redlined. That means he when probably got up to nine. I thought he he went out of the car and, and fell in the house. Imagine you're sitting. That's eating, what I thought. You're eating dinner and all of a sudden Dale <laughs> Chance <laughs> flies <laughs> through the house. Are you Dale Chance and the Delray Misfits? <laughs> <laughs> I could just see him flying through. He goes, I look good, don't I? Look at this. Hey, how did you like your... I just got an accent. Look at me. <laughs> did you see your Calvin Klein ad? No. Oh, oh boy. You didn't Here, see it? Let me it? show you. Never saw it yet. Never heard of it yet. You're about to. Jay posted it. That's great. See if I might have to go on your phone. Mine's dropping. Hang on. Bedroom book. Jay's a, Jay likes to troll us, too. <laughs> Brad showing him the Lenny as a, as a Calvin Klein ad. Let me see that It's again. on Jay Masters' Instagram. Let me see that again. <laughs> <laughs> when Andrew said you're straight out of a Calvin Klein right ad. Right out of a Calvin Klein ad. That looks great. Classic. It's like, oh, man. Like Marcus Schenkenberg. Look him up. That was good. I'm glad Dale called in. We got yeah. all, all that cleared up. You see how shit gets blown out? You, you hear different different stories all the time like uh, oh he flew through the fucking porch and this and that. that's what somebody wrote unless i misread it maybe i was half asleep first thing in the morning i could have sworn someone said he got <laughs> thrown laughing. he got thrown from the car <laughs> yeah. and he's, he's now, flying through in somebody's what house giggling yeah. at the whole time was just Dale's sitting here talking Dale's Dale's sitting here telling in his story and sitting there, and, he's laying in the table and, <laughs> Of and breaking, coming through your roof. I thought it said he <laughs> fell. <laughs> he fell through the roof of a porch. That's what I fucking. Yeah, read. buddy. Probably said, yeah, buddy. <laughs> uh, I'll be honest with you. I look good. Yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah. just got in an accident. Uh, oh my god. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Have Lenny check out a pic of British ex Mr. Universe Eddie Elwood. Yeah, he's big. I see him. You know who he is? Yeah. I think if it ever happened, Lenny's final form would be quite similar in stature to the guy. Yeah, it's a compliment. Did you ever see the video of the bodybuilder in South Africa who tried to do a backflip? No. And then fucking he under rotated and he landed on his neck and broke his neck and oh, died. Oh, that's right. I remember uh, seeing that. Yeah, you yeah, never yeah. saw that? I'll, never saw I'll, it. I'm going to show Although you. Although I will see it because yeah, I'm in no danger of doing any backflips. I don't want to see yeah, any. no shit. I don't want to see any squatting or benching. I would pay to see you fucking do a backflip. Like that, though. I'll take a look at. Watch it. No squatting at mishaps, though, please. No. There's some fuck that is. I don't like watching bike accidents either. Bicyclists. Well, Lenny will like it because this this person was. Uh, Here, Lenny, watch this. American descent. This, this guy died after he did this. Hold on. Fuck. These fucking ads. One second. Can I skip this shit? Yeah. So what do the maniacs look up? What's, what do they Google? What is the best exercise for neck training? Laying on a flat tran- bench. Sucking tranny cock. Putting a towel on the forehead and putting a plate across the forehead. Let Hold the plate, but don't lift the plate. He's fucking big. Who knows why the fuck he did this? Apparently, he's done it successfully many times. He is freaking monster. But he's wearing socks. Oh. And he died. He died in the hospital. Broke his fucking neck. Broke his neck. He was wearing socks, and as he went to jump, he slipped and under rotated. Say that again. That is stupid. He's dead. That's enormous. That's Ronnie Coleman off season. What is the name of that on Google? Just go on YouTube and look up bodybuilder backflip death. Look it up, bodybuilder black backflip back. death maniacs on YouTube. I'm sure most of them have already seen this. 
This was a pretty big story when it happened. I read about this in, in a bunch of South African guy. Look at them legs. Boom. <laughs> and I thought they were supposed to have hard heads. Just like that, you can't take back the moment. It's it. One dumb decision. Better off dead. Becoming a uh, paralyzed from the neck down. Please subscribe and Fucked like up, this channel. Right? Do not forget to click the bell for updates. Somebody, somebody liked how you got triggered about MLK Day last week, and he said, "As it's Scott Young, we are a week away from Black History Month. How do you feel about that, Lenny?" Oh, here we go. <laughs> what is there to say? I could sum it up in a couple paragraphs. <laughs> the black Thanks, race Scott. was on a particular continent for many years never really traveled much until the more intelligent races came down through sea vessels and basically had their will at them because there was no organized society and the intelligence was very low as the, the problem with living in a hot climate when everything's just there for you for the taking you don't have to do much and they got overrun by a more efficient intelligent race of people and then anything that they they've done you know, they're primarily used as a labor force and they really haven't done anything as far as worthwhile uh, contributions to humanity, to be honest. I really can't say that. To say somebody that's a protest or an activist or something like that, that's not really much history at all, really. It's just a very shallow, it's almost an afterthought and that's the truth. I'm not trying to sugarcoat it. I'm not trying to put anybody down, but that's a fact. And they try to make it like they're the most important race of people known to mankind. And they make actually a lot of white people feel left out and guilty. They throw the guilt trip on them. Look what you did to these people. And you're no good as a kid. Oh, I think a lot of white kids are turning to drugs. We didn't do shit to them. No, we helped them. A lot of white kids turn to drugs because in the schools they, they promoted white. Yeah, you're nothing. You're just an afterthought. But black, the, the school agenda is to prop them up and make them feel good under a false pretense and you know a lot of times they'll do forced busing where they'll take a lot of kids from a ghetto and put them in a white neighborhood well i've seen online some of the tragedies that happen like you know 60 students from a ghetto in a white neighborhood being dismissed from school going to wreck havoc in the neighborhood letting people's dogs out killing people's dogs breaking into people's homes one incident where a 61 year old man they were jumping him down in his pickup truck. He came out and said, what's going on? And but, but 60 black kids, men, girls and boys, swarmed him, beat him within an inch of his life. When was this? And that's, that's on the internet. I saw that on the internet. Yeah, everything but just the, the thing is, it shouldn't be brought to the forefront like that. And, and even in, uh, isolated and recognized. How about human history? They're the ones using the terms. I don't. I'm probably the least racist person in the world. But, you know, the people who use the terms African-American and black, you're the racist because you're identifying race. I call it cookie cutters. And so happens there's a large percentage of cookie cutters in this certain aspect. And they shove it down our throats and the schools and the churches, politics. And frankly, it has nothing to do with you. And so just ignore it. And for the young maniacs out there, don't fall for that pandering. <laughs> and the moment you start kissing their ass and you know who I'm talking about. Oh, the, they're the, all over you mean here. the wigger kids? The, yeah. yeah, or trying That's to fucking be like them, which I wanted to be like them. I admit when I was a kid, it was a point of years. Oh, that, that was the only thing that's cool. You know, I'm, I was in a white neighborhood. I learned the truth real quick moving to Florida, going through the ghettos, you know, being yeah, whatever. You, you don't want to live like that. No. You had to learn the hard way. But remember, if you show fear in front of them, they're like a dog. They'll step all over you. That's right. Your best bet is to go about your business, put your straight eyes straight ahead. Somebody calls you a name, ignore them, or take it as I do, take it as a motivating tool. But if somebody lays a hand on you, you defend yourself through a common sense approach. And don't get yourself into bad situations like the things that I used to do going to those neighborhoods. What are you going there for? <laughs> what am I going there for? The cops knew it. We had that in, in the middle school and high school down here. They bust... A lot of kids from the ghetto to the Did it work? To our schools. Fuck no. There's fights all the fucking time. Yes. I remember one of them <laughs> pushed my buddy in gym class. Uh -huh. And my buddy like fell on another kid and like bent his neck back. He stood up, turned around, and knocked the kid square out. The black kid. He deserved it. Yeah. And then, but then all his buddies were, you know, every day that the rest of the week, you know, 
all the kids' friends wanted to fuck with him, you know. But then that kid ended up showing him respect. Yes. Like, don't fuck with that crazy white boy. He'll knock you out. <laughs> yeah. You pay, you pander them or give them a holiday or give them a this or that. They want more. They want ten times more. Well, they play they play that card when it's fucking convenient. Just like all the Bible thumpers play the uh, "I'm a Christian, I'm a Christian" when it's fucking convenient. Fuck True. Your, go fuck yourself. Just be a human being. I agree. Don't be a cookie cutter or a porn addict. Except when they're behind closed doors and no one's watching. Somebody asked, uh, will Brad's yeah, head ever stop growing? <laughs> no, it won't, especially when it's in your mother's asshole. <laughs> Brad, I didn't know you went that way. Went that way. Ask Lenny, if he, <laughs> ask Lenny if he thinks he could have kicked J-Master's ass at the Halloween party. Yes. I mean, he was fucking sloppy drunk. What well, doesn't matter? I think kick anybody's ass, and I'm, I'm willing we to won't, do it. When will we get mic stands? We have mic stands. We like holding the mics better. You have more freedom when you have. The, we tried the mic stands at first. Uh, mic stands were annoying. They're annoying. Yeah. Let's see. Brad, yes, Brad is scrolling through the questions on Instagram. When is Clore coming in for the podcast? He's coming down here in a few months. He told me. All right, you sure about that? Positive, because he said that before a couple yeah, times. Yeah, he is. It's just you know, he's got a lot of cats. To <laughs> Somebody said you guys need to hook up your broadcast room. You may get sponsors. It looks like Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Nice home. We yeah, yeah. Feel like I'm at home. You are at home, Lenny. Except Dad's not there to smack you in the face when you're not chewing your food. <laughs> Up end a table on you when you find out you skip football practice and getting poked with forks and cottage cheese and pear pl plates. What the fuck? Well, maybe if that guy, what's his, what's the name of that guy who goes to travels the world to Thailand? What's his name? Doctor Tony, Tony Hughes. Yeah, maybe. he's actually filming a movie. Over if he there opens right up, now. if he ever takes over the old world gym, we can do a, a podcast studio in the back. There you go. Perfect. It's gonna happen. Talk about Brad Trenrage at work. Did he get huh? <laughs> much trouble and we, he'd be fired? No, I will not be. I have my job. I've told that supervisor to go fuck himself a hundred times. He was just butthurt that day. And he wanted to, he's a fucking five foot three Italian ugly little fuck. He looks like the Count from the goddamn Sesame Street. <laughs> he's got a big fucking pointy nose, pointy fucking ears, widow's pee. He's an ugly little troll. I, I call him a bipolar midget like a month or two before that happened, and he didn't talk to me for like over a month. Hello, the Brad. First time he uh, uh, the first time he uh, talked uh, to me, he said, Brad, tuck in your shirt. So I said, go fuck yourself. Go home. I'm like, fuck you, I'm not going home. Go home or I'm calling the police. I said, fuck you, I'm not going anywhere, you little bitch. <laughs> and he went over. I was in a fucking rage. Like, you know how when you get, when your blood's boiling and you're really pissed, you yeah. have like tunnel vision. Yes, it happens. Like I had visions of myself ripping his head right it's off his fucking shoulders. very time. We've all gone through it. I said a lot more shit than what he put down his uh, grievance contention. That was his contention to my grievance because I filed a grievance because they sent me home. You just got walk, to walk yourself out of the area. About they made me leave. Happen. Yeah, the, a couple Many other guys. Many people were doing life because of this. Yeah, a couple other guys told me to leave before the cops got there, so yeah, I did. You have to, it's, it's tough, though. I mean, we've all had it. We but, really, really feel like you rip it and we want to rip somebody in half. But then they stiffed me for the five and a half hours after I went home, so I filed a grievance to get paid did you get paid not yet but i will because he denied he denied the, at the first step you can deny the grievance then it goes up to the union officers they come down and hear with the postmaster manager and he'll pay me at the next step but this guy just wants to be a jerk off it doesn't matter I mean, what the fuck if it was worth the five hours anyway even if i don't get paid for it little prick okay talk about andrew's dark side which he keeps hidden so cautiously never revealing too much of himself because some things are too dark for the light and best be left alone how many serial killings did he commit you know it's fucking crazy i had fucked up i had a reoccurring dream when i lived with my ex in that house because i remember we, we were planning on putting in a pool we didn't obviously but Thank you for deflecting the question, Brad, by the way. But uh, but just because um, <laughs> this jogs my memory of that, I would have I had a dream that before they were coming to dig up the pool, I was calling you to come dig up the bodies out of the backyard. Oh, shit. Yes. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, Andrew, we got to get the bodies out. They're coming to fucking that's, dig that's... up the pool. And that dream happened many times. It was fucking weird. I hope it doesn't happen. <laughs> no, shit. Of course it's not going to. Could be a premonition. <laughs> well... Truth be told, to the person who asked that question, uh, I gotta take a leak. Me too. Well, you guys can go have a sword fight. Yeah, you want to do a lightsaber battle in the toilet? Yeah. You should do that with my brother when we were kids. 
Lightsabers. Oh, Don't cross the streams. Remember the Ghostbusters? <laughs> yeah. No, but what the fuck's the matter with you? My legs sore. I can't recuperate from these training sessions. Well, yeah, when you're off. Training or tranny? What did you just <laughs> say? Training. Oh, did you do legs today? Yeah, I, just did. I squatted on the patio. Free weights. I've got to go all the way down now, even though I got lighter. And you got that mirror there to check yourself, too. So fucked, you're going on your phone and check the comment. Where are you going? I'm you gonna, take a piss? I'm going to... What? Go in the stash. Oh. Go in the smoke a little You're bit. getting a late start. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> no, I, I was going to say to the person who asked that question. I got to start smoking before I start divulging more <laughs> dark shit in my mind. Growing up as a kid, my father was a pathologist. If you don't know what a pathologist is, it means... He did autopsies, and gr fucking growing up, I used to spend a lot of my time reading my father's pathology textbooks, and I became absolutely fascinated with it. Who's that little one here? Uh, what's her name? Took it accidentally the, the other God. night. I yeah, I know. Torch and burn my fucking eyebrows with this guy. Yeah, I'll have to get it back when she comes over. No, nah, it's still lighter. It's all right. So anyway, growing up as a kid, I used to read all my father's pathology textbooks, and I sort of developed a... I don't know if you'd call it a morbid fascination with death. And if I can go back in time to when I was 18 or 19 years old and actually have my head screwed on properly instead of being, you know, just an irresponsible partier, I absolutely positively would have gone to medical school and become a forensic pathologist myself. But I, I didn't, you know, the path not taken. I didn't give a flying shit about college until after I got my BA. Um, and then by that time, I, I had just lost all motivation to go back to college, do a year or two of pre-med, then four years of medical school to become a, a pathologist or a forensic pathologist, do a residency. So anyway, I'm not a serial killer. I've never killed anyone. I've never hidden any bodies. But I do very much have, to the, even to this day, just sort of a, a bizarre interest. I wouldn't call it a fascination, but a very big, keen interest in death. And that's one of the reasons why I've always watched some of these fucked up internet websites like the YNC, Ogrish, because I grew up, I remember one time um, my father came home and his suit was covered head to, head to toe in blood, covered in blood. And we all freaked out and uh, we asked him what happened. And he, had, he was taking the subway someplace and someone right in front of him jumped on the subway tracks in an attempt to commit suicide. But the person missed a track and only got severed from the mid thigh down. So the numb nuts who jumped in the subway tracks ended up cutting off his own legs. And my father jumped into the tracks to try to save the person's life. And um, he came home covered with blood. And I remember that I was a little kid at the time, but I remember that sparked an argument, an argument between my mother and my father. She was like, I'm done. You can't be doing this shit anymore. Coming home with blood. And, you know, because he did autopsies. But he stuff. put himself at risk to do that, didn't he? Yes. That's phenomenal. Yeah. And that was like the turning point for my mother where she had seen enough and just couldn't deal with him doing that line of work anymore. So he got out of that doing autopsies. But that's a great thing to do. Testifying I mean. at trials, having, you know, performed autopsies, working with the police. It was actually, it was fascinating. So you were taken through the morgue as like a kid? No. Like that. I wish he had. I totally wish he had, but I, I never got... Really, man? I could oh, yeah. I oh, could. fuck yeah. It's a curiosity. I wouldn't be able to... No, to I wouldn't be able to stomach it. I, I get... I don't I see, was looking at that. We say like YVN or what is it? The YNC. The y, the YNC. The I kept on typing y YMCA. No, the YNC. That's why nothing bothers me. I have no... I, I, I'm not squeamish. Like, nothing. No amount of gore, blood, a uh, uh, crime scene, someone with bones sticking out of their arms. Lenny, some Lenny shit glued to your toilet. <laughs> Except for that. <laughs> I'm not... I'm not de I'm totally desensitized to all that shit from what I saw primarily in textbooks as a kid. I was reading shit and looking at pictures I should not have been looking at, you know, but they were there. Did and you ever I see a book of freaks where they show people born with birth defects where they look like birds or not even human? I know there. I saw a book on psychology because I studied psychology. I did college level courses to graduate high school. You mean progeria? Progeria is where Different they look forms like birds. Of it, yes. Yeah. Yes, I've seen progeria where you know, they age, everything ages. Yeah, like by the time they're 12 years old, chronologically, they're actually like 80. But they always have this bird-like appearance. That's called progeria. Yeah, that's the most bizarre, one of the most bizarre diseases yeah. known to man. I think very few of them live to be more than 13 or 14 years old. That's and sad. That, you, know, you, get, you get one shot at life, one crack at it. 
and to be born like that. You know that that, this is. I'm glad we're talking about this because this transitions into something Brad and I were talking about earlier today. We were talking about depression and people who people who go online and social media looking for sympathy from other people. So like, depressed. Oh, I'm depressed. And they write these long ass paragraphs on Facebook and Instagram. People that some of the listeners might even know of who right. won't mention any names. And it's like, you fucking motherfucker. There are little kids out there who are dying of neuroblastoma or pediatric um, uh, uh, what's it called? Um, shit. What the fuck is that cancer? Uh, leukemia. Yeah. You know, who won't live to see the age of 14 or 15, who spend their entire childhood in a hospital bed or on chemotherapy with tubes sticking out of them. And you have whiny fucking adults complaining about Able depression. Bo- able-bodied adults Perfect. have all their limbs, Correct. they're in decent health, they're just, uh, I'm depressed today. Fuck you. Why? Because your life isn't challenging enough. Go out and do something challenging. It's just it's just weak-minded shit. You know, go to the fucking gym. Go, I mean, take a anybody tea. like you said, anybody that comes back from the war with the missing limbs. You hear right. them? Oh, um, they can be depressed. I, I wouldn't. You know, you want to be you want to be fucking. I'll tell you what was fucking depressing. When I visited you and Emma in the hospital, and in order to get to your rooms, you have to walk through Brad because Brad was with, with me. You have to walk through the ward. And as you do, you walk by each and every hospital room, and you look Everybody's and you look in each room, up, and man. you see young people, old people, kids, laying in hospital beds, just staring at the ceiling lifelessly. You know, there are a lot of old people in Delray Medical just because of the demographics of the area. You want to be depressed? You want to see depression? Go walk through a hospital and look at people who who are there because of shit that's going on with them health wise. It pisses it's me just, off so people much. People got to go to dialysis on yeah. a regular exactly. basis. Well, it's, yeah, I mean, like you said. Look, listen to Dale. Dale was just in a horrendous car accident. Does he sound depressed to you? Exactly. He doesn't exactly. sound depressed to me. He's got a kick-ass attitude, and that's what's going to get him the fuck out of that hospital bed. Right. And then, you know, I sometimes... You see these it, whiny fucks online. Oh, oh this, i got to take this medication. i got to go talk to this doctor. Fuck you. Fuck you. Sack up. Be a fucking man. Take responsibility for your actions and just fucking live your life. Don't, I don't want to hear about, I'm, I'm depressed. Oh, I'm so depressed. Uh, you know, your girlfriend leaves you, your boyfriend leaves you. I'm yeah. depressed. Fuck you. There's so many people out there that have problems that they can't fucking help. You they know? have no control over it. They didn't ask for any of it to happen. You know how it is. And I mean, it's yeah. just, it's people just troll for sympathy online. It, it, it's got to be one of the most pitiful things you'll see. Well, just attention star fucks. They they just need the validation first. They want somebody to say, "Don't be depressed. You're great, and you're this, and you." They just want to be gassed up a little bit, right? You know, it, it's fucking pathetic. Grow the fuck up. It's depressing shit. Yeah, life's too short. I admit, people sometimes you don't. It's not your day. But. Right? Yeah, I, I get. But when these people don't want to leave the house and they're think, you know, they have all these sick thoughts, and it's like, change something. If you're depressed. Do something about it. Figure out what it is that you're depressed about and fucking change it. What, what's, what is so difficult? It's a good message. I mean, give me that shit. Unless they're not, not depressed and they're just trolling for sympathy and attention online, too, yeah. which, which can be it as well. You it's mostly know. the broads that do it, but there's a lot of guys that do it too, which is even more fucking pathetic. Yeah. Like, you know, grow a pair of fucking testicles. Stop acting like a whiny little fucking bitch. Fix your life. Don't go on social media and, and air out all your fucking oh. your business like that. Like, I, I, who gives a fuck? I suffer from depression. What are you going to put? Uh, depression hashtag me too with that shit too now? <laughs> go fuck yourself. <laughs> yeah. you know, give me a fucking break. I can't stand that shit. Especially when you got people that are born handicapped, you know, that can't help shit. And you don't see them acting depressed, you know? There's, there's people that are born with afflictions that they can't help and they deal with it look at cerebral palsy mike that guy was fucking great exactly always had a great attitude man he's funny witty he never bitched about his you know what he has he just fucking you know he was a good guy look i mean what the fuck Mm -hmm. and he's basically crippled 
don't don't fucking put on social media that you're de- these people that are you know single have no kids uh, and you, they have life by the balls they have good jobs they're able to support themselves and well, you're get gonna some go kids. Crying. maybe that's why you're depressed you need somebody to look up to you i don't think having kids is ever no, that. that's all that is uh, kids having kids ha- uh, and I'll, I'll admit it it's a fucking ego extension having kids is never the answer to any situation as far as i'm concerned if you're in a relationship with someone and you think that having a child with the girl is going to solve problems Bullshit. it will only make them but worse I mean, coming from my perspective when you don't have a good relationship with don't have kids listen if you guys do when you when you don't have a good relationship with a woman what the fuck was i just gonna say and you have kids with them <laughs> I see what happens. yeah, I yeah. I what that I'm didn't take long you have kids with them it ends up being a relationship killer correct but then again the relationship suffers and i've been having nightmares about it once in a while and i spoke with andrew kalura about it we don't have kids now i'm looking at myself you want to leave a legacy that, well when i go to christina carries me to the to uh the gates of heaven is god gonna say what did i make that for referring to my genitals and he can say did you use it he goes what did i give it to you for so you can stick it in some do some uh <laughs> sodomite <laughs> activity he goes where's your where's where's your offspring that's what i'm worried about you know not having kids and i also always have this dream of you're li- doing the world a favor by not reproducing <laughs> Oh, please. <laughs> I think you're way off. Because what I can give a kid is I can, you know, give them love and attention <coughs> and, and teach them and feed them correctly and give them a No, I'm sure, I'm sure you'd be a good father because you, 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 learned, you learned how not to be a father by your My father, father was a great father. He was abusive. Uh, he was a fucking bully. No, I was a no. bad. I, I was a very the shit foolish, that you've told us. Man. I was a very foolish if he son. did if he did that shit nowadays. He'd you be in you were a very jail. what son? Foolish son. How so? Not listening to him as I should have. Well, you have to because you wanted to be your own fucking person. Yeah, but it turns out I wanted to be exactly what he said I want, should be. You know, it kills me to this day. Why? You're not satisfied? Absolutely not. Where did no. I play my major college ball? Nowhere. What does that matter? What if you What if you were to pursue that and you got paralyzed in the fucking first game of your at career least i did it well he his knee was what hurt the fuck is that? his knee got hurt in an exhibition game his first year okay you know he You're lucky he wasn't his fucking neck yeah but he made camp he excelled in camp as a 12th round pick that's a pretty long shot for the philadelphia eagles yeah so, you know and he told everything every little secret have you ever thought that. about coaching football i mean you obviously have knowledge you can still do something with it yeah it's just i think i need to have a kid Oh, and boy. I want to be able to I send it. The, the thing is financial with me. I need to yeah, I want to be able to well, send first it. First, you have to find someone. To exactly. <laughs> well, that's easy. That's easy. That's easy. And I would just any woman will let you impregnate her. She has to be over. All well, the shit you've been on. Well, this might be the time because you're clean. You're cleaned out now. Well, like I said, a woman Your over sperm six actually feet might tall. be swimming pretty good right now. I, I think it's very easy to get. But I'm. You want me to create a POF profile for you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Please do. All right. And we'll share it with the maniacs. Oh, my God. The, should I use your profile picture of you with the snot shooting out of your nose? Yeah. <laughs> you never, it wouldn't surprise me. You know what? The stipulation is that person has to accept what I do on social media. You Good know? for you. That's right. You put your foot down. I think it'd be interesting. And she has to accept you for who you are. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. That's, she that's has when to you get to. introduce herself. On men, oh, on their wait, channel. that's that's crazy. You know, that's funny you say that because that's when men, when you, I think you become a man when you can actually like be who the fuck you want to be and not what your your wife or significant other tells you or grooms but you, you have to fucking to, be. You have to have. You got to compromise. Yeah, you have to have a financial. Let's face it, you have to have a good financial backing. I mean, like I said, the body build. Hey, sports not cheap. You know, you got to eat a lot of good food, a lot of good supplements. You know, you got to sleep can't be out there partying you know yeah but it's a it's a stupid sport that's what you would get your kid into bodybuilding no f- sports okay bodybuilding is something to do when you fail at sports pretty much yeah, there you go any or kid wrestling that doesn't do sports wrestling. and decides to bodybuild right? as a teenager you're way off folks get that athletic background all the mr olympia yeah i don't it. think they're giving scholarships Phil Heath, they're, basketball not giving, player. They're, not, they're not giving scholarships Lee Haney, ronnie coleman football players jay cutler football player the list goes on and on. Oh, yeah. Soccer players, Dorian Yates, you know, the Arnold, the Europeans. Chuck Basher, gay for pay. <laughs> <laughs> well, football player, supposedly. Yeah. Wide receiver. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Wide receiver. Oh, is that Mark? Oh, do you have him? So, well, <laughs> singing time. Yeah, that's right. This song is dedicated to Christina Broccolini. 
If I could save time in a bottle, the first thing that I'd like to do is to save every day till eternity passes away just to spend it with you. If I had a box full of wishes, the first wish that I like to do. <laughs> I love you, Christina. That's just a taste and a sample for the maniacs. Lenny was just gazing dead into my eyes the whole time you saying that. That touched me, man. Thanks. <laughs> there you have it, young and I will Scott spend, Young. I will spend eternity with Christina. Is he close? You had to go to the fucking softball game. Some shit's we're not getting tonight. Was that our outro? We're done? Yeah, for now. Just a little taste. We're going to get the background music put together, so I'll do some songs. I, I can YouTube instrumentals. Just say the word, and I'll play it into the into the mic. Oh, boy. That sounds like a great question. Yeah, it seems very yeah, I have a few yeah, I'm glad I got to walk away Misfit from that. Misfit karaoke. I have a few requests for Christina to sing to me. He was staring into your soul, huh? The whole time? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Want to sing a song for Cali Muscle? <laughs> <laughs> that would involve look, a lot look, of racial see, slurs. Look, see how serious his face just got? Because he's thinking Holy of what? Shit. What are you going to sing to Cali Muscle? <laughs> Chuck Basher. <laughs> sing him a nice song. <laughs> trying to think. You don't know any rap music, huh? <laughs> no, never heard of it. <laughs> You know who we might have on with us next week? He's at a drive over here from Tampa. Carla uh, Dunlop? We have not seen her. Man. Still haven't seen her. Uh -huh. She disappeared. I'm, I'm in Delray every morning now, pretty much. I go to Boca Moore. He goes to Delray Moore. So if, he's, if anyone's at a see her, it's Brad. I had a fan meet me this morning from Alabama. He was waiting outside the gym when I got there. What? <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Sitting on the ground, yeah, waiting J for Brad. JD from Alabama. He worked out with me the whole, t the whole time. He came down just for one day? Yeah. Well, no, he drives trucks. He was oh. out here to drop a load in That's Pompano. Not that, that kind of slip, Not that kind of load, Leonard. <laughs> 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 Whatever the fuck is trucker. So he Ubered up to Delray this morning. He was hoping to meet everybody, but I told him, you don't get up in the morning. Andrew had the day off. Jay was flaked. He said he was going to be there at 6, but he had to go to work at 8. He said he was picking you up this morning. I forgot to ask him how his first he, day was. He didn't say mention any times. Nice. But I was going to say, Adam McLeod, New Universal Order, is going to drive down here, be on with us. Hopefully, that's the plan. Adam Harper, I'm still working on that, everyone. I, every time, I don't know if I'm getting the runaround or not from him. And if he doesn't want to be on it, I just wish he would tell me, you know. This fart's going to stink because it burned when it came out. God but Jesus it. Christ. I had a little fire at the end of that bitch. You know that's when, <laughs> you know that's when they're going to stink when they're, they're hot like that. Go ahead. Yeah, Adam Harper, yeah. he's in Vegas this week. He's that's what Dominican he said. He's in the Republic last week. He's traveling. I know he travels a He'll lot. He'll come but... on. We'll get him on in a few weeks. Yeah. It is, you know, when it is, it is. And that'll be the next and last time Jason's here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, he's another one. He's you know, flaky. Jason will be on a podcast with us, but this just isn't a format, as we've talked about, that's conducive. You can't sit and have a conversation. He'll just, you know. It's sick. It's pissed. It's sick. It's pissed. It's revolting. It's insulting. Then I'll check his phone 20 times and then, all right, guys, I'm tired. I'm going to go. Yeah, it's, it's there's pointless. No, there's no point. Are we going to wrap this up with a song for Chucky Boy? Or are you going to sing another one for Christina? Uh, I'm trying to think. One. Oh, I know. Yeah, I know one for Christina. It's called It's called Christina's Song. This will put everybody to sleep. Yeah, Good, night. Get, Good night, man. Get the lyrics for... Face down, ass up. That's the way we like to fuck. <laughs> That's two live crew, Lenny. Put on a John Denver song called Annie's Song. Absolutely. Without the, without the singing. Why are, you cut, why are you holding the microphone like that? Song, just to surprise the man, Christina. They surprise. can hear, they can still hear you. John Denver. <laughs> song. That's actually, it's, I'll um, introduce this Christina. Song. Why did I ask you to do this? God okay. damn it. I'm high though, this will be funny. <laughs> you filled up my senses Like a light in the ocean you filled me with laughter, you've calmed all my fears Like a storm in the desert, like a sleepy blue ocean Come let me love you, come love me again, Christina You fill up my senses, you filled me with laughter Let me die in your arms, 
Let me lay down beside you. Let me always be with you. Come let me love you. Come love me again. I love you, Christina. Oh, wow. Very nicely done, Leonard. Thank you. The voice of an angel. <laughs> yes. It's like Will Ferrell and Step Brothers is fucking guy. <laughs> it's a little off the cuff, no preparation, but remember, I wasn't allowed to sing as a child, and my father would have knocked every tooth out of my head. Well, bullshit. You're that, singing every week now. That's, that's it. That's we what, need a new song every week. That's what the kids these days call off the top of the dome. Yeah. Oh, do they? Yeah. The cookie cutter kids. Like when you come up with a rap freestyle off the top of your head, it's off the top of the dome. Oh, my gosh. Oh. If I ever come up with one of those, shoot me. Gladly. Well, I hope Christina liked it. It's going to get better. This is a big fuck you to Leonard Person Sr. who didn't let Lenny sing. Hey. Yeah, prick. Name me the man I am. Yeah. He's a man that I stood 10 feet away while he threw a fastball in my 10-year-old little Little League glove till my hands bled. I used and to I do that to him. my son. I would throw it as hard as I fucking could at him. Same with the football. Yeah, yeah he's... Uh, it works. Yeah, and then now he throws he throws harder than me, and it fucking hurts like a bastard. I tell you he's what. He's got a fucking arm on him, that kid. He takes guts standing in the batter's box when they're yeah. throwing 95, 98 miles an hour. We used to hour. stand in the backyard and just fucking... I would just whiz shit at him. It was good. It was good for him. <laughs> that which doesn't kill you makes you stronger. That's it. All right, on that note, that's it. Fuck out of here before your shit sprinklers destroy the paint on my fucking car. And before your asshole destroys my nose. Yeah. Here. Good night, maniacs. Good night, Christina. I gotta let one loose. And next stop, RX Muscle at Dave Palumbo. The, Looking the forward. The Delray Misfits right. will be there. Road trip. Yeah. Good shit. Right. KP Sapai. <laughs> <laughs> good night.